Hey guys, how's it going? This is Yusei Demila here, and we are back with more FGO uh, Lost Belt 5 Olympus. So now, uh, yeah. The last time we did this was like during the beginning of the week, though, I think. And, uh. Yeah, we ran toe to toe in the face of the gods, though, and that, that giant, that mechanical giant, though, kept getting back up because of the Cleronomia they had, and then. We were surrounded by, like, Aphrodite, Demeter, all the gods who are, want, want to kill us, though, pretty much. And then we got saved by two uh, random Olympus citizens. And they took us to their base, which they were part of a group called the God Destroyer Alliance. Which means... Yeah, and basically all the... And we came to learn that all the servants that were a part of this group, though, that, that these two uh, Olympus citizens were aiding... Are all gone now. They're all pretty much dead. They got wiped out. And so yeah, we there was a lot of dialogue. We talked a lot. We discovered that all these gods do have their own weaknesses, though. So yeah, that gives us hope. And the one who gave us that tip, though, was uh, the one who was just al along for the ride with the two uh, the two Olympus citizens. Though he was working with the co the collaborator as well, who was helping their group. And it was no other than Kadok. So yeah, didn't expect to see Kadok again. All right now, let us go into the next section. Section 6. Thou art the harvest that reaps the stars. So I'm getting we're gearing up to fight Demeter soon because she's the goddess of harvest and bounty. And yes, guess what? I'm actually streaming this pretty early, though. <laughs> Not at, like, dead late at night, though. Why? Because, well, it's my day off, and I want to do some more today, and I want to do some more FGO today. I know next week, though, we're going to have a... Uh, next Saturday, I'm going to be at the Springfest Regionals, and yeah. For Van for Cardfight Vanguard, so last night and the night before, we had a couple nights filled with Vanguard goodness, though. But in any case, though, let's not get too sidetracked. Interstellar uh, Mountainous City Olympus. Great Orbital Shrine Olympia Dodonna, the center of its operations. A revelation is upon us. A revelation is upon us. Now is the time of revelation. He is an all-powerful justice, the direct heir of primordial chaos and the ruler of all things. He is the one who should keep all of humanity safe. He is the one who should rightfully rule for all worlds. He is the wielder of the great thunderbolts capable of shattering even the Adamus Scythe, none less than the authorities of Gaia and Melier bow to his will. He is the great Demiurge, the one who wields the Cronus crown for all eternity. Now behold, the words of the almighty Zeus. Oh, they get to see him. Oh, damn. He actually looks kind of like a Chad. There is work to be done. I command you by my name, Demeter. Goddess of the land who grants the vast earth an abundant harvest and my own flesh and blood. You are to eradicate the Chaldeans who lurk within my city. I permit you to use your Aletheia in every district of Olympus. May your piercing shrieks shatter the bones of the enemies that threaten our world. As you wish, Almighty Zeus, your will is my command. These Chaldean demons strike fear into the heart, very hearts of our citizens. Give me a sec. Give me a sec, just got some messages to check.
Alright. As the citizens of Olympus may as well be my own children, my duty as a mother is clear. I shall use every power and authority at my disposal to eradicate them. I swear it on my beloved Persephone. Hmm. 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 What a lovely oath by a lovely goddess. I am touched. Truly. I see, I see. So you've sworn in this oath on your precious daughter, Lady Persephone. Then Heavenly Zeus's will is certain to be fulfilled, no matter who may try to stand in its way. Forgive me, King of the Gods, but may I offer a word of advice? As nice as it to see my alter ego colleague and fellow foreign dis god disciple Limbo so overcome with emotion, that is not why we are here. Might there be any room for us to join her on this mission? Your help is not needed. I have no orders for the likes of you disciples. Well, that is a pity. It seems we still have yet to fully earn your trust. May I say something, father? Yes, father. May big brother say something? While I do have my concerns about sending Demeter out on this mission, I am happy to abide by your judgment if this is what you think is best. Is there like a fly around here? What the heck? It's like zippity z zopping around. Give me a sec. That being said, there is one thing I would like to ask. Please tell me. Why did you place such a curse on that sage of proper human history? Oh? So you noticed that, Caster, child of old whose veins run my blood. Gotten copies of some technical machines I've gotten in the past by trading spheres underground. Hey, nice. How's it going, Marth? Very well, then. I shall tell you. That sage is a prime example of the very worst of humanity. Thus, he does not deserve to be met with the full wrath of my lightning. I trust you can understand that. Father, if I may say one more thing. Why did you not strike him dead on the spot? It's better than using battle points, in my opinion. Yeah, the battle tower is pretty tedious. Big brother! And why did you even permit Caldea's submarine to disembark on our holy land? If you had only used your true great thunderbolts, their sh entire ship would be... Enough, Caster! You may be Almighty Zeus's child, but that does not give you license to speak to him however you like. Remember, you are in the presence of the King of Gods. <laughs> it's all right. I forgive your transgression, Caster, and I admit, your words possess an element of truth. Indeed, I am all-powerful. If I wished, I could have easily reduced them all to dust. However, there is one more thing you must never forget. If I were to use the true strength of my great thunderbolts, they would demolish the city and obliterate the populace. Not even Demeter's regenerative gifts would be able to bring them back. We must protect the city. We must protect the populace. Plus the Pokemon they have underground know some egg moves, so it's nice. Oh yeah, definitely. For ever since the second Machia, 14,000 years ago, the day we obtained the Cronus Crown, we have ceased to be a fleet of mechanical arcs crossing the Sea of Stars, and have become gods. Well then. Oh. I take it your divine revelation is over then? That must be quite tiring for you, King of, G King of the Gods. 
Especially since merely keeping Olympus running must take at least 90% of your resources. I can't tell you how sorry I am for letting these Chaldea insects slip inside. I could say the same to you, Wodime. You have nothing to apologize for. You entrusted Canis with the task of stopping as I did with Odysseus. Both failed. In the one glacial caverns to get a Sneasel. Okay, cool. Indeed, Chaldea surpassed both our expectations. Revising our estimation of them is more than efficient. I see. I don't know what to say. Hearing you say that to me, a mere human, makes me feel I have even less of a leg to stand on. I may seem cool and collected, but I was actually stealing myself to face some kind of penalty. You are my friend, I know, so you... You're my friend, I know, so you don't want to admonish me at least a little? <laughs> I can never let the other ships, gods, hear you tease me like that. But as it is, just the two of us here, I cannot help but be more lenient with my judgments. Be at ease, young mage. There is no one else here for whom you need to need perform. That goes for the foreign god, too, of course. Even as we speak, I am using all my authority to keep this conversation private. Whatever we do or say here remains strictly between us. That said, even I cannot hide us from the priestess's prying eyes, low though I am to admit it. That's because she's the observer. In a sense, she even, she's even more trouble than the foreign god, who still lacks a body altogether. But simply knowing that she will not hear what we have to say is more than enough. Since that will give us an opportunity to verify our endgame goals with one another. As you have surmised, Zeus, the foreign god is indeed keeping a close eye on me. The alter egos may be supervising the other cryptors, but only I have a direct link to the foreign god. If I were to act in any way, any way counter to the foreign god's interest, I would immediately be cut off from further aid. Which is why I had no choice but to say. Grow the tree of emptiness. When it is done, the reconstruction of myth will take place. Yes, I remember that. You also said that this planet's surface activity would be restored to the Age of Gods, and that the gods would soon after resume their reign. I agreed with your conclusion, but insisted we face one another in combat. I said that if if you truly believed in the, the ideals of which you spoke, you should demonstrate that you wield <laughs> you should demonstrate that you wield the necessary strength to bring them about. Of course, I lost that fight. I never thought I would learn firsthand how debilitating complacency could be. That was only because I planned ahead. I took a calculated risk that we wouldn't go all out if I spoke to you alone. Olympus is not a part of Earth. It is a colony that continues to operate to this day. As its omnipotent god, you have an obligation to keep it running at all times. So it follows that you would employ your full strength in an opening move against a lone mage like myself, yes? Hm. I have to admit, you were a clever bastard of a human. As soon as you unveiled your meteor magecraft, I knew I had earned the at the start. I quickly changed outputs, but by then it was too late. In boxing terms, I had already been knocked out. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to show Hades the signals Demeter and Aphrodite were admitting as they watched. I doubt there are any stories of those two, st two staring slack-jawed in the, m in any myths from your proper. Well, let me try. It. I doubt there are any stories of those two staring slack-jawed in the shock of any myths from your proper human history. 
I could say the much the same of your reaction as well. You looked more like a kindly old man than a cold-blooded, all-powerful, all-powerful god. Have the other gods of this lost belt ever? Have the other gods of this lost belt ever even seen those other possibilities you harbor? As if I would ever let them see such a thing. I am Zeus, the flagship of all Olympus. I am the all-powerful one who rules over even the other gods. Even this avatar to which you speak is no more than a virtual self created expressly to converse with you. It is both me and not me. Yes, good point. I may be hiding something, but being a ship, you are largely unable to do so. When you do something not expected of you, you create a new function and have it act in your stead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you out. Let's return to the subject at hand. You recognized the foreign god's existence and accepted the Tree of Emptiness into your world. After all, you need the Tree of Emptiness in order to preserve this Lost Belt, but at the same time. As long as the Tree of Emptiness is here, the foreign god will one day descend upon our world. And we Olympian gods cannot coexist with the foreign god. All we gods need is the Tree of Emptiness. The foreign god and the alter egos are our enemies, nothing more. Thus, the instant the Tree of Emptiness has fully blossomed, we will revolt against them. I will claim the Tree of Emptiness for myself and destroy the foreign god's point of arrival. From there, I will purge this world of the last traces of the insolent, proper human history and establish our world of Olympus in its place. Ugh, stretching too. <sighs> I remember you approached me with a contract, back when that thought first occurred to me. Your exact words were, there is no need for you to explain your decision with words. King of the Gods, I implore you to form a contract with me, for our ultimate objectives are the same. That was your way of suggesting we protect this Lost Spell from the Foreign God, wasn't it? I wouldn't be so bold as to say protect, as you and I both seek the same outcome. I only wanted your help so that our goal would be realized, even if one of us were to fall. I trust your feelings on that have not changed. Of course not. I may oppose proper human history, but I do not oppose humanity. I promise you that in the event of your death, I will carry on protecting humanity in your stead. Even if it should come to light that you have been deceiving us and acting on proper human history's behalf. As long as you're not openly to blame for your actions, I will accept you, warts and all. I hear you loud and clear, Zeus. It seems our plan remains unchanged. There are only a few days left until the Tree of Emptiness reaches a critical point. Until that time comes, we shall continue the work towards the re reconstruction of the Age of Gods. <laughs> you continue to walk a tight rope with the Foreign God. Olympus and Chaldea all aiming to knock you off. And you do so with aplomb. Wait, Wodime. There is one thing I would like to verify as well. Yes. You told Canis the star indicated you would need to fight two more times, right? Or yes. One of those happened in Atlantis, leaving only one more. So you're to save your final battle for me, understand? I forbid you to waste it on either Chaldea or the Alter Egos. I want to fight you once again. I want to stake the future of this world of gods upon our battle. Of course. When that time comes, I will gladly face you with all my strength, so that I may live to live up to your up so I may live up to your expectations. Okay, 
That was the first arrow. Okay, so I'll be right back. Before we go on, I'm just gonna go refill my drink.
sorry about that. I return, pick up my drink, and yeah. Oh hey, unafraid. Zeus's fight is actually being a joke. Yes, I was informed before, and I again, I need to remind you guys. I don't move. I don't move as fast as you. I only do these stuff on stream. So just please, for the sake of things, do not reveal anything. Don't, because that's almost reaching spoiler territory, though. I have a feeling like I know. I people keep saying, "Yeah, Zeus's fight easy, is easy." Okay, but yeah. Try not to go any beyond that though, please. That's all I ask you. Or better yet, just don't say anything close to that too, because yeah, that is potential spoilers. Alright, so now that I've gotten that out of the way though, just please allow me to enter- Allow me to enjoy the story and the battles then too. Is that alright with you guys? I don't know how many of you are in the chat right now though, but sure. We're going to continue the next segment here. Just give me one second. Pleasant surprise. Exactly who gave you permission to stand there, human? Olympia the Donna's corridors are reserved for gods alone. They are no place for humans to loiter. I see. Well, I do beg your forgiveness if I've offended you, O oh goddess of beauty. I was trying to hide my pitiful human self behind a pillar so as to not upset your divine mood, but I guess I wasn't successful. You are new here. Are you another one of those mages from proper human history? Cryptors, was it? Let's see. There's Caddox and Lupus, who remind me of a filthy little puppy. Pepperoncino, who reminds me of a nasty vulture. And you're... You're, uh... What are you exactly? Are you really a cryptor? Nothing about you stands out. I can't even think of an animal you remind me of. How dreadfully boring. Ouch. You got me quick. Um. You got me to the quick, goddess. But yes, you're exactly right. As you can see, I am but a humble, harmless human. If you think me pit pitiable, I would only ask that you find it in your divine heart to offer me some tiny modicum of compassion. Compassion? You want me to spend my precious time thinking about a human? Humans are weak and deserving of... No. Humans are weak and deserving of our protection. Yes. Yeah, was... Does that mean undeserving of our protection? I don't know. Okay, never mind. I didn't read the whole thing, sorry. I'm even willing to lend them a hand when they need help. But that's as far as it goes. We are the gods of Olympus. We would never waste our time on something so foolish as thinking about humans, especially not here. Even a com- Oh, not even a comrade of Kerstaria. Know your place, human. Ah, uh, you couldn't be more right, goddess. Please forgive my foolish offense. You see, I only just arrived from an incredibly barbaric island. Every person there had their hands full taking care of themselves, and they had any and any faith they had may have had in something greater had long been lost. Not that there was not there were er hmm. Okay, sorry. Not that there were ever any gods in that world to begin with, of course. Compared to that, Olympus has been truly divine in every sense of the word. Indeed. Your glorious light is still far too bright for my poor eyes. I only hope that you can laugh off my slight as the foolish remarks of a hopeless country bumpkin. A world without gods. Hmm. Such a place is better off being pruned. Very well, Cryptor. You may not be worthy of my consideration, but I can spare you a bit of my pity. I can only imagine how much you must have suffered in a lost boat without a single god. So I will overlook your transgressions here in light of your wise decision to abandon that foolish lost belt. Now then, what is your name? 
Ah, your mercy and kindness move me to my core, goddess. I have no words to express my gratitude and respect. My name is Beryl Gut. If I have proved worthy of you remembering me, even if only for a fleeting moment, I will know joy beyond measure. Beryl, what a strange ring your name has. It almost sounds like a blood splattering gets a wall. Very well, Beryl. Come to my shrine. You're going to tell me, and only me, about this lost belt. This land of fairies at the ends of the world you abandoned. It would be my pleasure, god my goddess. But first, may I ask you something? I can't seem to find a close friend of mine here who... No, 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 no. I can't seem to find a close friend of mine here no matter where I look. It's Kadok. The one you said reminds you of a puppy. Would you happen to know where I might find him? Of course not. I couldn't possibly care less. I, mean, I couldn't possibly care less about such a hapless creature. He's probably out somewhere and joined one of the city's automated brothels. Is that so? Well, that works out nicely. I see. I see. Yes, that does sound like something Kadok will would do. But in that case, Lady Aphrodite. If Kadok is out in the city now, I mean, according to the revelation from the King of the Gods. Oh, that? Yes, if he is out in the city by now, he'll probably end up dead, caught up in the eradication of Chaldea. As a pathetic member of proper human history, rather than one of our citizens of Olympus, I doubt there will be so much of it as a trace of him left. Well, then. Indeed, this may sound heartless of me, but if that is his fate, so be it. After all, you are the goddess of love, and love can, at times, be cruel. You are never one to come to the aid of mortals, even in proper human history. For my part, I can only hope and pray that Kadok is somewhere in this shrine. What about the other twelve Olympians? Say, for example, the goddess of the land and harvest, who has long protected nature, animals, and humans alike. Oh yes, Demeter. Good question. I'm not really sure. Huh? There would be one problem if she could remain in remain the steely, cold-blooded goddess she could she should be. But Demeter, she's always been too kind. She's always been much too kind for a mechanical god. Huh. Interstellar, interstellar mountainous city, Olympus. South District. All of a sudden, an enormous flock of birds took to the sky, causing the people there to instinctively look up. But it was only a flock of birds taking flight. Nothing else of note occurred. Today would play out peacefully, just as yesterday had. Soon, there would come another peaceful tomorrow to take its place. That was what everyone thought just before it happened. Uh, is that the meter? It was an enormous sphere. A massive steel object as tall as most of the nearby skyscrapers. This was the true form of a god. This was one of the gods that reigned supreme over Olympus, one of the arcs that had crossed the sea of stars long ago. This was the Aletheia that presided over the land. This was Demeter, the mechanical goddess of the land and harvest. As the mother goddess who inherited much from Gaia, her name means Mother Earth. She saves humanity by giving them ambrosia, which grants immortality. She nurtures humanity by keeping her supply towers running at every hour of the day. 
Okay. Uh... Just getting a screenshot. Her love for humans is genuine, but... Uh, how sad. How tragic. Death is so sorrowful. Endings are such misery. Okay. Oh, wait, I think this is Demeter talking. Uh, how sad. How tragic. Death is so sorrowful. Endings are such misery. Oh, my beloved citizens of Olympus. My darling precious children. I'm so sorry to have to do this. But I need to take your lives for a moment. Commence demolition! Jesus. Huh? Fo, what is that shaking fo? I'm trying to eat my kibbles, fo. An earthquake? No wait. That didn't feel like it came from the ground. This is Demeter's power. Believe me, I know these massive vibrations anywhere. Scream Eleusis. It's a, well, scream derived from Demeter's authority that can till massive expanses of land in an instant. It's powerful enough to destroy entire city districts. She could use it to plow all of Olympus in probably half, an, half a day. Did you say all of Olympus? That's right. She must be trying to kill us. No, she must be trying to kill you guys, even if she has to reduce the whole city to rubble to do it. But doesn't that mean the people of Olympus will also? Yes, her scream kills everything it touches. She must be counting on all of us being somewhere in the area she's targeting, as that's all she needs for her attack to succeed. This was how the gods so brutally killed the heroic spirits from proper human history. Fo fo! She must be one bad singer if she can kill something with her voice, fo! I don't know why fo is so slow now, fo. Fo. So they don't think anything of sacrificing their own city. But but wait, I just remembered it, Ellie. Didn't you say that? The power of the gods is the only thing that can kill these immortal people. But while they're practically immortal, they're not truly immortal. That's what you said, right? That's right. So, so then, does that mean at this very moment, Demeter is massacring hundreds of thousands of people? Yeah, but nobody's gonna care. Not when they know she'll just regenerate everything she kills or destroys later. It's what she did back during the Third Machia, and it's when, what she did when she killed Nikola Tesla's group, too. With Demeter's authority, she can easily massacre every Olympian who swears allegiance to her, and bring everything back the way it was in just a few days. Our glorious gods, huh? So even death can be cured in this world. But you also said you still felt pain, right, Adele? Even if they know they'll be brought back to life. Being crushed to death inside a building must still be a terrifying experience. Maybe it only sounds weird to me because I'm not immortal myself. Assuming that the goddess of the land's authority truly is capable of completely restoring a person's physical body. The notion that the experience of dying would somehow not affect the victim psychologically is... I must admit that while this is unexplored territory, the prospect seems extremely unlikely at best. I see you care about the same things they did. 
Some said it didn't matter what the people of this Lost Belt went through, since they were all going to disappear when proper human history was restored anyway. Hey, Spyro, how's it going? Got a caster. But that didn't prevent the heroic spirits of our alliance from trying to save them from the gods' devastating attack. What's more... <laughs> now that I've been on standby for so long, I took the liberty of rebooting myself. Adele, Makarios, people of Chaldea. Given how you twins are more sensitive than most people, and according to Old Lionhead, the Master and Demi Servant from Chaldea are just as much, if not more so. I imagine you must be absolutely twisting yourselves into knots over this dreadful state of affairs. Let me do mine. I am Jelter. Uh. Saber Altar. Oh, I got Arthur. Oh, sorry about that, Spyro. <laughs> I know because we did too. And with the benefit of that experience, I will assure ensure you don't. Okay, and with the benefit of that experience, I will assure you don't make that same mistakes we did. The same mistakes. Damn it. Now then, let's resume Operation God Destroyer. Alrighty, so that's the second arrow done. Okay, so we got a lancer among them. Meter fight. Uh, I heard. Formation restricted. Hmm, formation restricted. Give me a second, folks. The pizza is here, and I'm gonna have some pizza. So give me a sec. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, so, folks. I have pizza. So give me one second. Hercules, yeah. Give me one second, folks. How sad, how tragic. Death is so sorrowful. Endings are such misery. However, as long as I have my authority, death will be but a memory and no life on Olympus will ever truly end. And yet... Uh, I still can't help but feel this is terribly sad. Raising South District. Jesus. Even as they run about in confusion and distress, the people of the city continue to pray. Oh, Lady Demeter! Lady Demeter! Lady Demeter! Please forgive us! Please have mercy! Please, please, please return my lost arm! Please, my child was crushed to death! Please spare us! How can this be happening again so soon? Please spare us! Please give us ambrosia, quickly! But their cries fall on deaf ears, their prayers remaining unanswered. The situation above ground is sheer chaos! None of the people in town are even looking our way! I have a visual on the target. The meter is prox approximately 2,000 meters away. And as luck would have it... And as luck would have it, it's your big metal ass that's facing us! Let's go do what we can while we have the chance! Right. Foe, foe, let's stick it to our foe. Given that the Tree of Emptiness is deeply connected to a given Lost Belt's king, 
Logically speaking, the only god our Operation God Destroyer would need to concern itself with is Zeus. One can even go so far as to call whittling down the enemy's fighting forces completely meaningless. However... Well, there are certainly some heroic spirits, especially from those times of war who ruled large countries, who are able to ignore the screams of innocent bystanders. No doubt, they are used to having little concern for human lives, throwing them away like so much refuse. But to that I say this. It's throwing lives away what makes one a hero, is being able to kill the mark... Uh, is being able to kill the mark of a champion? Yes, I suppose heroes may need to be callous at times, but it's not callousness that makes them heroes in my book. If just killing and never doing any good was all it took to be a hero, then there would be no distinction between heroes and killers whatsoever. No, it is overcoming adversity, breaking through the dark of night, and saving, not taking, lives that are makes one a hero. If a true hero was forced to take one life, it is only in order to save another, even if that other is their own. So my fellow compatriots, if you, like us, are enraged by the destruction you see before you, then rest assured there is a way to defeat the one causing it. While we may have left for battle ourselves before it was complete, the collaborator has since completed our secret weapon, one which gives us more than even the odds of victory. Thank you for sharing your opinion. However, it did strike me as a tad long-winded for an impassioned mid-mission speech. Oh, wouldn't you say that's the pot calling the kettle black? Hmm, I can't say I expected this AI to come with an, a timer function. The reason I went to the trouble of making that speech, good Chaldeans, was to verify your feelings on the subject. What happens next is up to you. So, Yusuku, what will you do? I'm going to stop that god. Right. Foe, let's kick her ass, foe. Uh, you got out again, foe? Please get back in the storage space. Status report. Seven link heroic spirit cannon activated. 400 seconds until we can fire it. Commencing Operation God Destroyer 1. Demeter Maneuver. Good luck, everyone. Approximately 30 minutes ago. God Destroyer Aligned Space Olympus Underground. Operation God Destroyer? What's that? It's what it... It is what it sounds like. It's the name for the strategies we came up with to take down each of the gods. They've been the God Destroyer Alliance's goal for a long time. Hell, they're the whole reason our alliance exists. And luckily, Tesla's group made a ton of headway on them. Unfortunately, we failed in our attempt, so now we would like you to pick up where we left off. Please help us. I'm sure Mahatma had a hand in bringing you here. These spirit origins of ours may not know you, but you have fought alongside other versions of us before, right? I remember you. We met back in America. We fought both against and alongside each other. I'm sure you will all fight to the very best of your ability, but knowing you, I can promise you this, it still won't be easy. Which is why we have this. Senpai, that mechanism! Foe? What mechanism, foe? It's a Theos Cleronomia injector. Right! Externally, it appears to be very similar to the ones we saw in Atlantis. This is an original model, so I'm sure it's a cut above what you saw in terms of effectiveness and precision. After all, Cleronomia never degrade while they're near the Cronus Crown, the symbol of the King of Gods. I'm guessing the Cronus Crown is that giant mechanical thing up above the giant shrine? That's right, it used to belong to Cronus back before the first Machia. So that's what keeps the Authority nanomachines in good working order, huh? Sounds like extra divine providence. Foe, foe, give me some foe. 
Whoa there, careful, foe. You don't want to get too close. Unless you want that adorable fluffy body of yours to start swelling up like some kind of muscle balloon. Foe, foe, uh, foe does not want to have so many more foe. These steels clear Nomia can contain the authority of both Athena and Ares, the two gods of war. They're very pure nanomachines that are only usually only given to the royal guard stationed in that great shrine. They should be a huge help in combat. At least, until their effects wear off. Anyway, they're one of the more powerful weapons we got with the collaborator's help. Normal hero experience can't hold a candle to the gods, so you'll need these to power up your spirit origins. Ares Galeronomia. Back at that land as we heard these were long gone. I see. Well, don't worry, that's not the case here. They don't exactly grow on trees, but rest assured, we do have high purity Galeronomia from all of the twelve Olympians here. Usually they would reject human-based spirit origins. But fortunately we know how to adjust them to work on you. So we're basically getting a free power-up, huh? That's great! It's like Buddha himself has come to drag us out of hell. Those of us who live by the sword aren't picky about using whatever gives us an edge. At least, not in, not if you live by my need to each of you. Granted, I'm sure there are, also, there are also regular hero spirits capable of cutting down gods, but never mind those for now. Yeah, we can use Skahawk. I'd like to use him too, if you don't mind, under the current circumstances. I also agree that we can't be picky about how we even the odds. Is, that, is this okay with you, Master? Yeah, let's do it. Right. If you'll stand over there, Mash. And Musashi, I'll begin the Claronomia injection and bonding procedure. And while we're doing that, I'll go over exactly what the meter is. Here's a video feed of what's taking place above ground right now. This is Demeter, goddess of the land. AKA Demeter, interstellar voyage supply and production ship. She provides the Olympus interstellar fleet with the supplies they need, and on Earth, she provides the people with infinite resources. She's said to be the god who inherited the most from Gaia, one of the original prototype ships. She possesses authority over harvest, in other words, production and regeneration. While her power does consume a fair amount of magical energy, she really has to worry about running out thanks to the connection she, along with all the other gods, have to the god-made ley line in Olympus's Crystal Mountain Range. Quite the mouthful. Okay, uh... Theoretically, she can regenerate from any amount of damage, making it impossible to completely destroy her. And if that wasn't bad enough... She also possesses Scream Elusis, a destructive authority that breaks down old and dead organic matter into reusable resources. Between infinite regeneration de Between infinite regenerating defense and massively destructive attacks, she's a very powerful opponent. There's no way you can hope to defeat her in a normal battle. I see. Yes, that's certainly about what I would expect when going up against one of the Twelve Olympians. What about that oral dissonance you two used yesterday? It appeared to do a good job at cutting the gods off from their magical energy resources. That, well... That is one of the Alliance's trump cards, but it's not one we can use freely. Plus, it takes a while to charge with magical, magical energy, so it's still out of commission right now. Not to mention that the real thing is somewhere else right now. Sorry. Hmm. I suppose I should have expected it wouldn't be that easy. However, we've been developing a secret weapon on the sly. The Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon. With it, we have a non-zero chance of actually slaying the gods. That's a very impressive name, but what exactly is it? Unfortunately, it wasn't ready when Tesla's group was still here, but it's ready now. With the Heroic Spirit Cannon complete, we can finally fight back without having to cower in fear of the gods. The Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon. I'm not typically one to get excited about weaponry, but there's something about the name that gets my heart dancing. 
The Seven Lick Heroic Spirit Cannon. Hmm. Yes, the gods may have defeated us, but our loss was not in vain. Our path to victory was viable. We, si we simply weren't able to take it. But now, our corpses have paved the way, and the path forward is clear. So go and be victorious! Okay, thanks guys. Now let me take it from here, or we'll be here all day. Alright, so the Seven Lick Heroic Spirit Cannon is basically a giant Super Mahatma Cannon. It's a type of mystic code that all seven of us Heroic Spirits pulled our magical energy into making. You could even call it a Magecraft weapon of sorts. It uses Cleronomia from the Olympian gods who were in the Coexistence faction and were defeated during... in the last Machia... Hades, God of the Underworld, Apollo, God of the Sun, Ares, God of War, and Hephaestus, God of the Forge. All seven of us, along with the collaborator, designed it to fire a pretty powerful projectile. It should be able to expose a mechanical god's divine core with a direct hit which will open it up f to further attack. This can work, I'm sure of it. Now let's get down to how exactly we're going to pull this off. Our target is Demeter, the mechanical god destroying Olympus' south district, advancing as we speak. It looks like she's digging deep down into the ground too, which means it's only a matter of time until she also destroys this base. So we've got to fire the heroic spirit cannon before she can get the chance. According to our calculations, these are the four optimal positions at which the cannon can inflict the most damage. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. Our job is to lure Demeter to one of these positions and score a direct hit on her with the Heroic Spirit Cannon, after which we just wail on her. This is our surest path to victory right now, but be careful. The Heroic Spirit Cannon may technically be complete now, but it can still only be fired once. If it misses, you'll be in big trouble. Injection and bonding press is complete. Bottles all look good. I'm all set too. This is amazing. I can feel the energy welling up inside me, magical and otherwise. I saw the stuff for the cannon we were listening along too, and I think we got the gist. Basically, we hit this goddess ship thingy with a special cannon, and then it'll be then it'll be time to cut her down to size. Sounds like a plan to me. Now let's all go make it happen! Are you with me, Yusuku? Let's do it. Let's do it. Operation God Destroyer, begin! Right, Master. Foe, I'm with you too, foe. I want to paw some ass. There's just one last thing you should be aware of. We don't have the time to get into the details now, but just be careful about what you say up on the surface. Down here, you can say whatever you want, but up there, make sure not to mention our base or our names. I don't really get it, but got it. All set? Great! Then let's get this operation started! I have a visual on the target. Demeter's making her way through the South District, moving from the northern area to the southern. She's laying waste to everything in our path. She's going to destroy this entire region unless we stop her. That's probably her game plan. If she doesn't find us here in the south, she'll keep destroying all the other districts one by one until she does. I'll say this about the, that plan. It's a pretty solid approach to killing us all no matter where we might be hiding. Case in point, the Alliance base is right in the southern tip's underground infrastructure. These gods don't have anything by hat. Don't do anything by halves, that's for sure. If nothing else, I'll give them points for style. Last time, Demeter stopped her assault after she killed all the heroic spirits above ground. But this time, we don't know what her ultimate objective is. For all we know, she might really destroy the entire city. Either way, we're not going to take this line down. 
No way in hell I'm gonna let this god destroy the city or wipe out our base. What's the status? What's the latest status on the Seven Lake Heroic Spirit Cannon? It's all set up on the rooftop, disguised. Uh, it's all set up on the rooftop of a disguised skyscraper in the middle of the South District. We're aiming it at Point Alpha as we speak. Find the way to learn to meet her there. We'll open fire as soon as we have her in our sights. Whoa! Onward! Ah, please get back in the storage face, Bo! Let me go over this one more time. The meter is not acting alone. She's been accompanied by a number of escorts located directly beneath her. Specifically, it's a swarm of destructive machines and steel demonic beasts. You should be able to draw the meter's attention by finding these escorts and destroying them one at a time. Our analysis tells us that the meter relies exclusively on her overwhelming powerful abilities in combat. So she has no understanding of strategy or tactics as applied to battle. So the plan is to hit the nearby enemies hard, draw the meter's attention, and lead it to point alpha. Hmm. Fascinating. Yes, most fascinating indeed. It seems phase one of this anti-machine god strategy can be described as, we won't know until we try. Huh? Foams? Whoa, what are you talking about? Foams. Where did that come from? I'm shocked too, Senpai. I can't call Sherlock Holmes ever saying something so, um, cavalier before. It's almost sound like, uh, to me like he was just, well, saying something for the hell of it. <laughs> I assure you, Miss Kyrie Light, I was being quite sincere. Huh? Uh, does he usually say that kind of stuff? Or was he hitting the, that pipe when, he, when we weren't looking? No, while I do very much enjoy a good pipe, I'm quite sober at the moment, nor am I anyone else disguised as me. Now, more importantly, I'm sensing a number of magical energy signals not too far from us. Am I the only one? Yeah, right. It's a group of Demeter's escorts. They appear to be 200 meters away. And Demeter herself is 2200 meters past them. We're close enough to begin the operation. Foe! To arms, foe! So, Yusuke, what's your next move? Mass, Musashi, get ready for battle. Understood. Prelim time, huh? Fine by me. Very well, let us begin phase two of this anti-machine god strategy. The only move we can make. Oh boy, here we go. It's pizza time. Oh, 
Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's see what you got here. Archer, Lancer, and Assassin. This one I don't have to put you to... Hmm. Uh, should I still use Mordred? are amazing! Confirming multiple hostiles down! These Athena Clearanomi are amazing too! I've been able to raise the Ordinex's output to 90%! Master, with these on our side, I think we should have no problem going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Olympus's forces! However, we still need more power in order to face a mechanical god. 
In this case, we require the seven link heroic spirit cannon to break through her shielding. And let's not forget, it's only a matter of time until the escort troops you de just defeated regenerate. So keep making your way through them until you get to Demeter. Onward! Ah, uh, how sad. How tragic. <coughs> Death is so sorrowful. And things are so mi such misery. Huh? Demeter is changing direction instead of heading to the southern edge. She started moving towards the east. What the? Why is she trying to use her unstoppable regenerative and offensive abilities on us? Damn it, change of plans. Forget about points alpha and beta. Hurry the point gamma. Demeter's escorts are reconstructing are reconstructing themselves and changing formation. Try to get her attention by destroying them again. Multiple hostiles detected again. The reconstructed escorts are making their way towards us. Good grief. Talk about your loyal guard dogs. Still, this would seem to work in our favor. Let's make extra sure to get Demeter's attention this time. Are you ready for another round of strenuous combat, ladies and gentlemen? Of course. Battle positions, guys. Right, Master. Preparing to resume battle operations. Here we go. Alrighty then. Hey Mark, welcome back. Two Star Avenger. Oh, what? Did I still leave Mordred in here? Damn it. Uh, Gawain. Toyota! Toyota! I'm about to switch out with a Lancer, holy crap. I just, just gotta trek it with old Mordred. No high buff. Ah, uh, no, nah, I hate that. Task get kindness. I believe she was one of his fate wives. Yeah, I've seen that too, though, and I managed to get Kainus myself uh, NP5 as well. But I just I need more of her like that fruit to ascend her. Cause I I got her to the like level 80 and like just before the, la the before the final ascension though, so I just need to fully ascend her. I just need two more of the fruits.
何やることないのこういうのどうだつまり連中だな他にやることないのもうお前だな All right. Let's do it, Arjuna. At least you and him can enjoy Fate Grand Order for a couple more years. I heard Dragalia lost shutting down. Yeah, it did lo It did shut down now. Or... I don't know if it shut down already though, but yeah, I, I, I heard the news too. Though I never really played Dragalia lost myself, so... Yeah. And Fate Grand Order? No, it, it is not shutting down anytime soon. Just to let you know. I mean, FGO is way too successful for it to actually shut down. Especially here in the, in the US now, the people are playing FGO left and right. Okay, let's see. We're fighting a caster. This is the last part of section five or section six. So caster, we're gonna need a a writer. It was cute. Yeah, yeah. Sean did play for a bit though, but then he hasn't really played a lot since then. So yeah. Hmm. Like Ozzy maybe. Pick a... Gets a quaddle. Now let's swap out Waver for uh, Rainus. Let's move his Shining Pearl walkthrough. Oh yeah, I also, I also gave him some- I also, I also gave him a Cyndaquil too. While dur during his streams. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, same, same with mine. Same with mine. There we go. There! We broke for the second wave of escorts! Oh! So we can- So- uh, um. Oh! So we can so do this! Seriously, these war god Dano what sets are freaking amazing! I'm not about to convert from Buddhism anytime soon, but I can still totally get the appeal. Thanks for helping out! Anyway, that ought to have gotten Demeter's attention by- Uh-oh. Ah, oh, how sad. How tragic. Death is so sorrowful. Endings are so mi such misery. Oh, my beloved citizens of Olympus, my darling precious children. The hell? Sh the hell? She's ignoring-
telling us? It seems Demita does not get involved in our escort's affairs. I suppose they must all be operating independently then. Fo fo what are you saying, fo? These escorts are only slowing us down. If we're to lure Demita to Point Gamma, it seems we'll have to get out in front of her and make her notice us. She may have limitless, cap limitless capacity for regeneration, but even she cannot ignore a direct attack to the face. So you want us to directly attack a god? I'll even go so far as to say that the third phase of this anti-machine anti god strategy is hit them as hard as you can. So that is the wisdom of Sherlock Holmes. I mean, I mean, so that is the wisdom Sherlock Holmes, the great sage of proper human history, has to offer. It's a reckless, foolhardy plan, but the premise is sound. Okay, Mash, Musashi, and Yusaku, the rest is up to you. Don't even think about trying to defeat her. Just holding her out against holding out against her will be more fiendishly difficult than you can possibly imagine. But for the plan to succeed, you will have to evade her attacks and hold out as best as you can until you can lead her to Point Gamma. Oh, how sad. How tragic. Death is so sorrowful. Endings are such misery. She's been repeating the same crap for a while now. God. God? Yes. Master Order? Not so much. Hell, I bet most modern-day kitchen appliance AIs are chattier than her. She could learn a thing or two from a good kabuki show. Alright. That's all about the bluffing I can muster. What do you think, Yusaku? <laughs> there's no way she can- there's no way she's a match for your motor mouth, Musashi. I knew it! Then let's keep this attitude up for one last push. Demeter is approximately... 2,600 meters away from our position. Deploying rapid movement charge to initiate battle. Oh god, we're actually fighting her. Okay, so I take it that this is the, peop the fight the people are warning me about. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's uh Oh, we're hardly doing any damage.
では俺も力を貸してやろううんうん罠を仕掛けるのは楽しいねファラオの真意を見るがいい<笑><笑>アーシーズ・トゥーン・コービュー・ヨカロー・ゼンノーの神よ、我が子を見よ、そしてデッグ・ゼロ・ラム・ゼンネス・ゼンテス・ゼロ・アッデメット・モロイ・Okay, this has to be a scripted battle. Tragic. Death is so sorrowful. Endings are such misery. Why? Why? Why do you hurry to your deaths? Shatter. Managed to withstand her large scale magic magical energy emanation. Sick. The Ortonax's auto maintenance is still working. Theoretically, I should be able to take two more strikes. Are you alright, Master? I'm okay. I'm relieved to hear that. There! We finally have the big gal's attention! Although, not only is her armor super tough, it really does regenerate before your eyes, huh? We'll obviously never get anywhere like this. We've got to fight mass with mass! So, how's that part going? It isn't much, but she has slightly altered the course, her course to face us. Assuming she doesn't further alter her course, she should arrive at Point Gamma in due time. So far, so good, as they say, but I can't help but wonder how many more times can we weather that assault. Even though Miss Kiri likes considerable defenses, I'm also forced to conclude that two more strikes is our limit. Suffice to say, 
Things are not looking good. Foe, did you really have to take that long to say that, foe? Foe? Damn it, this is bad. Enemy reinforces are heading this way from the East District at fast. It's the Olympus official guards. Depending on their numbers, you might not be a match for them, even when you're powered up states. So you are the Chaldeans, the demons who would defy Lady Demeter and turn their blades on the gods of Olympus. We will cut you all down, women and children or not. Master! How'd they make it here through all these explosions? Alright, oh, they, they, they come back to life. Makes sense. Man, as if Demeter wasn't a hell of a handful on her own, now we got a bunch of tough-ass soldiers who don't even fear their own deaths to deal with, too. <coughs> Let's see, one, two, three... Way more than I can count. Same thing. Same things aren't looking good would be kind of an understatement. All right, Shimin Musashi, how are you gonna get out of this one? Oh, and it ends there. So now we are on number seven. Sick. Okay, so far wasn't too bad. Oh hey, Zahak with a raid. How's it going, my dude? Let me give you that shout out. You were also playing FGO. How's it going, dude? Mortrit. Oh, this is new. To do. Hey, Mortrit. Long time no see. But mostly just extra class 7 servants. Yeah, you're doing uh, Olympus as well, right? Since then, yeah, since then, do you have the 3D model? Yeah, this is the same model that uh, Hana made for me a while back. I don't know who's talking, so I'm just gonna just read this normally. When I gaze up at the sky... Oh, or it might be Demeter. When I gaze up at the sky, I'm able to forget, forget the horrible atrocities taking place beneath me, if only for a moment. Was even able to beat the so-called goddess of love with just extra class servants with no revives. Hey, not bad, not bad. Probably better than what I can do. My beloved humans, my dear darling humans, born for the sole purpose of being loved. And that's and the first of the two twin fights. Ah, nice. I'm so so sorry. I'm such a terrible mother, taking life as readily readily as I give it. Well, damn, dude. Countless lives burst apart and vanish. But it's okay. Please, there's no need to worry. This is the eternal cycle. The goddess of love fight isn't a hard fight. At least that's what I've been hearing, though. Slaughter, rebirth, slaughter, rebirth, slaughter, rebirth, slaughter, rebirth. So what significance could there be in speeding that cycle up a bit here? Yes, that's right, isn't it? This one's tough. I had to revive six times. Oof. Are you, you are you, sh you are about to f fight the first hard fight. Okay. Being alive, being dead, it's all the same. There is no significance. All the same? Huh? Persephone, is that you? In that case, mother, I guess you won't mind if I stay dead too. Uh, uh. Okay. I don't want to do that. Ah. Uh, that is a long scream. Ah, la, 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 la. That's a lot of A's. 
To be honest, I want to see Zahak suffer against one of the last fights. Scream! Hey, Shadow, are you screaming for me? Thank you. I'm pretty sure there was no I in the. Ah, la, 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 la. Lady Demet. Ah! Oh God. But what the? Did she just kill her own soldiers? And it won't be Zeus, so it might be Canis. Over half of the Olympus official guards have been wiped out after being caught in Demeter's wild attack. There was something different about that last scream. Could Demeter be malfunctioning? Curse you! Curse you, cowardly Chaldea demons! Those gods from foreign lands warned us you'd probably use some kind of trick. Oh, uh, no, that's her own. She's got issues. I don't know what you did to Lady Demeter, but prepare to die! Oh, what the fuck? God, you stabbed me in the back? You coward! Shut up! Wait, who's that? That guy just got decapitated. Whoever that was just took out that Olympi Olympian soldier like he was nothing. Oh, it's Canis! You guys are just, uh... You guys are just gonna come back to life as long as the gods are around, right? Then I ain't gonna feel bad about killing you. Oh wait, never mind. That shit doesn't work when you're up against me. Looks like you're gonna be staying dead forever then. Sucks to be you, huh, chumps? Oh shit! Hey, you Chaldean shitheads! Been a while! Huh? Canis? Damn straight! Uh, did... Did you just save us? Well, yeah, isn't it obvious, idiot? Far as I'm concerned, you guys and these piece of shit Olympian soldiers are both my enemies. Canis, but you're Kishtaria's servant. Yeah. And you said you were going to kill us. Goddamn right I did. Uh -huh. Foe is confused, foe. Also, foe is scared, foe. Excellent sneak attack back there. Canis, wasn't it? Wow, so you're a beauty and a spear wielder, huh? Judging from that divinely rugged spear play, I'm guessing you've got some connection to the Greek god of the sea. Call me a beauty again, and I'll kill you. Aw, oh, come on, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be lying if I didn't call beauty where I saw it? Does that mean it's okay for me to lie to you whenever we talk? Aw, oh, man, that's gonna make me feel bad. The hell? Don't even think about lying to me, bitch! You try it, and I'll cut your eyes and turn your skull into a habitat for a damned octopus. I'm pretty sure Fulk can handle this by himself. Foe! Do not throw foe into the fire, foe! Foe is very delicate, foe. Right, then it's settled. We're, good. We're gonna be the kind of friends who can tell each other anything. Nice to meet you, Canis. Seeing you mow down those immortal Olympian soldiers like poetry, was like poetry in motion. Huh? Hang on. Shouldn't those soldiers have come back by now? Ha! <laughs> Hell no, they're not coming back. I already told you I'm a divine spirit, damn it! And right now, I've got a sea god backing me up. Sure, I might be a per servant from proper human history, so that's the version of Poseidon backing me up. But he's still a god, and his domain is still the sea. Huh? Poseidon's the same kind of ship god as Demeter, and he used to... Um, and he used to be just as much a god as l of land as Gaia was, back when humanity wasn't worth shit. So of course, I can use his authority over the land too, which means I can easily neutralize the blessings that make th making these punks immortal. <clears throat> testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the storm border. Do you read me? Excellent, it worked. We've got that video. We've got video, Ken. I trust you can hear me as well, Yusaku. Director Gordolf! Oh yeah, so I guess Canis was the one that was uh, was scurrying around the storm border. Oh hey, isn't if it isn't Goof! 
Foof. Glad to see you're all right, Mash. And did that little furball sneak out of my ship again? Hmm. I see you managed to meet up with Miyamoto Musashi. Thank goodness, reading you loud and clear, Director. Oh, I see Kanus managed to find you too. Good, good, this is all very good. We gave Kanus a communications relay that should boost our connection and let us communicate in real time. It's a special device of technical advi- that It's a special device our technical advisor put together to compensate for Olympus' environment. Da Vinci did that? I keep telling her not to work so hard and get some rest, but she never listens to me. You should put in a word with her, too. Now then, I've, fairly, I've got a fairly good grasp on your situation. Really, it's hard to miss the giant machine god destroying the city, given she's, well, giant. And knowing all of you, I was all but certain you'd be leaving the Tree of Emptiness aside in favor of doing something about her. Well, am I right? I'm right, aren't I? Just to be clear, you can start with the praise whenever you like. At any rate, I don't know how much you're currently struggling, but now that we've got Kalos on our side, use the extra help as you see fit. Then I want you to defeat every last one of those damn machine gods and cut down the Tree of Emptiness. You got a death wish or something? Who said any of you could use me? <laughs> Oh, well, let's not forget, Canis. You owe me a debt, do, we, do you not? In fact, I distinctly remember you admitting defeat in the face of my overwhelmingly skillful negotiation technique and saying you would do whatever we asked. Uh, you you are a divine spirit, are you not? Surely you're not going to go about to go back on your own word, are you? <laughs> I'm not clear on the particulars of how this came to pass, but I trust we can now count Canis among our ranks. But precisely, administrative advisor. Now go ahead and use Canis however you however you need to bring out that bring that god down. Hey, next time you talk about using me, I'm gonna scare you alive and feed you to the nearest whale. Just save all sorts of threats for shock fin in, in the cockpit. So still, that was poor choice of words. So I'll be more careful in the future. I'm sorry. <laughs> You punks really want a dipshit like that as your commander? <laughs> Alright everyone, now that you know Canis is on our side, you should be up to speed. Try to get along as best as you can. Foe. Foe says you are whipped, foe. So Canis is on our side now? I don't know how this happened, but if it's true, this is wonderful news, master. Having someone as strong as Canis on our team would be a huge help. Ha! Huh, don't get it twisted, you Chaldean dumbasses! I owe Gordolf Music their debt, so I'm just putting my spear in your hands until I pay him back. Once that's done, I'm still gonna kill the absolute shit out of all of you, no matter what else happens. Really? Are you sure about that? The hell are you trying to say, bitch? You think I don't mean what I say? Oh no, of course not. I can tell you're serious, and that you're not really our ally at all. I just mean, given how bad things are around here, you might not be around long enough to pay back your debt. So what? You saying I'm gonna die like a dog or something? I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, maybe. I mean, take a look. Impossible. Is that Lord Canis? <laughs> no, it can't be. It must be an illusion cast by the Chaldeans. All hands, destroy that fake Canis! We can't let her make any more trouble for Lady Demeter. Tch. Yeah, alright, I got it. Let's talk more spear, right? Alright, Chaldean dipshits, it's your lucky day. I'll let you command me in this fight. When you're done, you'd better make sure none of these Olympian soldiers are left alive. Okay. Here we go. Formation restricted. Okay, so they have to be a part of that.
Alright. We got both get mash in there since she's a zero cost. Let's slay Zahok. Why? What did Zahok do, man? Just because you feel like it? Oof. Oh fuck, I forgot to switch my Mystic Code. <laughs> Feed his blood to foe. Oof. Foe prefers kibbles and bits, foe. Apparently, Mordred feels like it, that's why. Foe likes to drink blood. Oh yeah, so you saw the, uh, the, the Among Us stuff. <laughs> Don't feed me the foe. Demon, blo Demon Lord blood is not good for his system. Speak for yourself, foe. Copies are from his true ancestor. Alright. Let's let her in. Alright. There are two more. I wonder if the FTO foe also meets that guy. Uh, maybe. So foe would definitely drink Zahok's blood, oof. Drink your blood, oof. <laughs> it 
imitate a vampire. And then we are vampires eating humans. And you're done. Uh, did Mordor just say I'm buying dinner? Is the first. Okay. Well, the food would be more expensive on her end. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alrighty. What do you say we get to it? Half day earlier inside the storm border. Please, Director, stop! We don't have to do this! Really, why in the world didn't you restrain the servant when you had the chance? You couldn't have known what we had back when that Nemo Marine picked up a mysterious magical energy signal. You have no, you have no idea what to do in NA anymore? I don't know. Whatever you want. But why the recovery pod treatment once you did? And without restraints, no less. And if that wasn't bad enough, you went up and gave her a regular bed once she healed up. This is nuts! I don't know what you were thinking, but I'm sure as hell not going in that room. Believe me, I understand the risks involved here. However, the fact is, this could be our only chance to obtain something we desperately need. Remember, we still have yet to hear back from Yusaku. He could have failed to rendezvous with the heroic spirits who got, he who got here before us, and may be looking for a way out of a precarious situation even as we speak. And if so, what can we do? As things stand now, we have nothing and no one we can send to help them. So it is imperative, absolutely imperative, that we find some means to fight back immediately. Ah, I see. Well, yeah, sure, I get all that. But that doesn't make her a good option. I mean, she's just gonna kill us once she wakes up. Oh, stuff it. My inner tool is telling me to go for it, so I'm going for it. I've come this far without second-guessing myself, and I'm not about to start now. I'll present her with this luscious, freshly baked croissant and do whatever it takes to win her over to our side. Don't try to stop me, Pompadour. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I, I take it you're awake now. My name is Gordolf Music. I'm also known as Music the Phoenix and Music the Brave. <laughs> I'm the current director of Caldea, though, and I'm sure you could tell us much from looking at me. I apologize for the intrusion, but we've been monitoring your vitals, so I know you're conscious enough to converse. I, uh... I have a nice fluffy croissant for you here, which I offer with no ulterior motive whatsoever. Shut up! Shut up, Gordoroy! Or whatever the hell it is, I heard the whole thing. Er, uh, uh, yes, well, well, while it does have a nice strong ring to it, I'm afraid I must correct you. It's a uh, Gordolf, not Gordoroy. You gave the order to pick me up. Mm-hmm. 
And you put me in that recovery what's it without restraining me? Mm-hmm. More than one than the even one of the three max ascended in bond five. Hey, nice. And you also let me sleep in a real bed, a real room instead of a jail cell. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I'm Canis. Remember how I swore I'd kill every last one of you dumbasses? You must have known that when you chose to help me, so that means... You've got a death wish? <laughs> Quit nodding and say something, dammit! What are you, some kind of drunk fre freshwater muscle? Musel? Answer me. If you don't, I'll take your signs as confirmation you've got a death wish. Oh, of course I don't want to die. I'm standing here now because I believe we can cut a deal. I saved your life, but that means you owe me a debt. Huh? Are you serious? You're damn right, I'm serious. You're on the brink of death. Hell, you were pra you practically were dead. So no, you wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for my bravery and my cunning calculations. That said, my original plan was to only heal you a little bit and negotiate with you while you were still weak. I never expected you to recover so much so fast. Damn it, Gordon, of all the mistakes you could have made. You wanted to take advantage of me while I was still weak. That's extortion, not negotiation. Oh, well, really? Is that how it comes across? Damn straight. It's no different from telling a POW that they'll have to be your slave if they want to stay alive. Gripes, I never thought of it that way before, but she's right. Nice. That's way easier to believe than saving me out of the goodness of your heart. I'd have straight up murdered you if you tried to pull that good Samaritan bullshit. Your plan's screwed, though, since I'm pretty much all better now. I don't know what kind of mage crap or mystic code you use to heal me, but right now, I've got authority over both the land and the sea. Once I've snacked on a little magical energy, my spirit origin will, be, will pretty much heal itself. See? I'm healed up all... I'm all healed up as good as new, so I don't need your help anymore. So you want to negotiate? How are you going to go about that now? Because where I'm where I stand, you ain't got shit for leverage. Well, there's the fact that I saved your life. Heard that one already. What else you got? Nothing? If it's nothing, I'm killing you right now. Well, I thought you didn't want to die. You better sneak up or... You better speak up quick or my spear might slip. Or maybe I'll just kill you with my bare hands. Which part of you should I crush? Your heart? Your skull? Maybe I'll start with your throat and then get creative. Come on, you fat prick! Say something! Don't you got anything else to throw at me? Oh, we've also defeated Poseidon! Huh? Huh? The, the storm border, our state-of-the-art ship, defeated Poseidon, the mechanical god of the sea, protecting Atlantis. Well, what do you think of that? You're the Canis from Greek mythology, right? <laughs> so hearing of Poseidon's destruction must make you feel p pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. Damn it! I can't believe, of all people, you Chaldeans beat me to it! <laughs> That shitty punk-ass bastard might not be the Poseidon I know from proper human history, but still. I was supposed to be the one to finish that asshole off. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Anyway, that aside, you... You beat Poseidon, huh? Solid card to play. You might have some skill at this negotiation stuff after all. I, uh, uh thank you? Five minutes. Five minutes? I'll be nice and hold off on killing you for five minutes. Four minutes and fifty-nine seconds. Fifty-eight. Now, just a minute. You mean everything I worked up the cards to tell you you've only bought me five minutes of leeway? <laughs> you ought to be proud. You've got five whole minutes from me. Make them count. You could run away. Not that it'll do you any good. You could call for help, which also wouldn't do you any good. So, so, Gordolf Music of Chaldea, what are you gonna do? Uh, so once five minutes have passed, you're going to kill me? No, not just me, everyone on the ship. Yep. Uh, 
Then I'll have to find a way to stop you, whatever it takes. Oh yeah, and what are you gonna do, Mustache? You sure you just don't want to make a run for it? <laughs> Look, you might be an idiot, but I can tell you're not completely stupid. <laughs> so you do know what that. Uh, so you do know that when. When I say I get, I'll give you five minutes. I mean you are the only one getting the head start, right? Be that as it may, I, as director, I have a responsibility to. You think I give a seahorse shit about that? Besides, what's responsibility compared to your own life? Just forget about all of your allies on this ship and run for your life like the pathetic coward you are. Nobody would blame you for it, especially since they'll all be kind of busy being dead. But be that as it may, I still have a responsibility to. Who cares? What is this, some commander's pride thing? <laughs> Alright, last chance. Go on and get out of here before I change my mind. If you don't get why I'm letting you off the hook, then fine. I'm gonna f I'm gonna kind of feel I'm gonna feel kinda of bad, but I'll start by killing you. You're wrong. This isn't about my responsibility as its commander at all. No, you've got it all wrong. This this goes way further than just my time as commander. I know. I know, goddammit, it wasn't me. It's my fault the world ended. I'm... I'm the blame for Caldea's destruction. I'm partly. You don't think I don't think about that every day? Caldea's staff didn't do anything wrong. The incineration of humanity wasn't their fault, and I damn well know it. They didn't have a choice. They had to try to fix the apocalypse with just a few dozen people. I knew that. Even then, I knew it. And I still... I insisted it was all their fault. They were... they were amazing. And if I hadn't come in and taken over as the director and screwed everything up, things might have gone differently. So, there. There you have it. I don't want to do this, though. I'm terrified to even try, but... But I still have to see this through. You see, I'm the most important thing to me by a lot. That's why I don't want to be a traitor to humanity. That's why I don't want to be a traitor to humanity. That's why I don't want to end up as just some useless coward. Chubby. Uh, and it's why I can't run away now, even if it means I end up dying here. That's why I won't back down. I won't. Do you hear me, Canis? I'm standing my ground because I think we can cut a deal. I saved your life. My team and I defeated the sea god you hate, even if he wasn't the one you know from proper human history. And what's more... Well... What's more? Two minutes. One minute and fifty-nine seconds. <laughs> and what's more, I've got a freshly baked croissant right here. It's crispy on the outside, soft and flaky on the inside, and so delicious, y'all. Oh, so that's what you had there all this time. I thought it was some kind of poison. So it's food. Th that's right. It's made with tons of butter, and it has all the calories you could want. I've also got some milk and tea to go with it, if you like. Croissants are delicious, but they can make you feel a bit parched. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Are you trying to win a heroic spirit over with food? Are you actually trying to negotiate with me, Canis, the tyrant, now Canis the divine spirit? With a freaking piece of bread? <laughs> this is the funniest goddamn thing I've seen in I don't even know how long. It's too bad Karstari didn't talk to you more. <laughs> I've never seen anyone so insolent in my life. Surely it can't be that funny, can it? Even Tool used to love cr these croissants. Gordo's NP would be a croissant. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Give me that. Uh huh. I said, give it here already. Or Lunch. Oh. Huh, so that's a croissant. Or Thanks, that was good. Oh. That was good, and not only that, I haven't laughed that hard since I manifested. <laughs> so I'd have to say you won this little exchange of ours. Can be persuaded with food. I think there'd be more than junk food at all. 
All right, music, I officially owe you one. You name one thing you want me to do, and I'll do it. Really? You mean it? I'm a lot of things, but not a liar. I'd never kill anyone who gave me such a warm reception. I'm not a damn centaur, after all. I might not act like it, but I'm still a king. Go ahead, name your request. I'll do anything you want that's reasonably within my power. Uh oh. But permission to speak freely? Sure. Could I make a second request as well? One to return the favor I did you with the recovery pod. What do you say? You're serious? The fact is, I need help. I can't shake this feeling that things are going very badly out there. Did Yusuko's team manage to meet up with numerous allies, like they did out in Atlantis? Or did the heroic spirits who got here ahead of us all meet in an untimely end? Ooh. Oh man, look at my nose is getting a little stuffy now. Give me a sec, folks. Sorry, good. Sorry about that, folks. Alrighty then. As masters live, as much as well, if that's one meal and a place to stay. Damn. It, it turns out to be the latter. Then I, we need you. I, we need you more than anything. Huh? That is to say, we need your help. Desperately. And while I'm at it... I also want the thing you've been holding on so tightly in your right hand ever since we found you. Hmm? My right hand? Oh yeah, I guess I do have something here, don't I? I must have grabbed hold of it when I was floating around in the sea. That's a fragment of the moon goddess complete with Artemis Cleronomia. It's a bloody miracle that you happen to find it. Please let us have it. It's of utmost importance that we have it. Go nuts. I sure as shit don't have any need for this thing. Oh, what a waste. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know what, oh, what we would have done if it had broken. Oh right, I guess we it wouldn't. Would it? Thank you, Canis. I appreciate this more than I can say. Now at last we have a means we have the means to fight back. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Um, uh, our dude Gordolf really saved the day right here. Well, what the, what were you doing back, uh, what are you doing back out here, chubby? Perfect timing, Manuel. I need you to bring this to my technical advisor at once. <laughs> he always gets his name wrong. After that, I want you to use every bit, uh, let's see. Every bit of electricity the storm border has at its disposal to contact Sion back at the Wandering Sea, even if only for a few seconds. 
<coughs> when you do, you are to tell her we have the last material. Damn, man. Gordoff been freaking doing the heavy lifting now. Ooh, and with that, my work is done. My subordinates should be able to take it from here. Well then, now that things have settled down a bit, there's something I need to ask you. This has nothing to do with learning our enemy's strategy or figuring out his weakness or anything like that. I just want to know out of, um, personal curiosity, disbelief? No. This is really only about my pride as a fellow noble. What is your master, Kristoria Wodime, like as a person? Alright. Uh, thanks for dropping by, Mordred. Have a good one. Could I ask you to tell me your personal thoughts about him? <laughs> and the present time. At any rate, the important thing to know is that Canis is not your enemy. I'll tell you all about the bond of trust we we forge later. Yusuku, Mash Kirialite. You two are our last hope for restoring proper human history. And it's for that eminently logical reason that I risk my own life to help you. Since my gamble has paid off, it's time for you two to take the proverbial ball and run with it. Got it. Understood, Director. If she doesn't want to follow us to our destination, we'll just have to drag her there kicking and screaming. Don't worry, I'll give everything I've got to make that happen. If four swords aren't enough, I'll break out my immovable fifth to finish the job. Can we count on your help too, Canis? Even though, even though if you do this, you'll be throwing your lot in with the anti-Atlantic, I mean anti-Olympus Lost Belt forces. He actually did something. Yeah, he fucking saved the day. That's what he did. Ha! Huh, fine with me. If they didn't want me switching sides, then they shouldn't have stabbed me in the back in the first place. Huh? Hmm? Care to elaborate? So shut up! Forget I said anything! All I need to do is kick this god's fat ass, right? Okay, Gordolf Music. Time to see yourself what a powerful asset I can be. Don't you dare miss a second of this. If you so much as blink, I'll kill you on the spot. Now check this shit out! Lapathi Canis! A bird with golden wings bursts forth. Its violent shockwave rocks even Demir's massive core. It's not enough to bring her down, only to make her lurch. Yet, even so, all her des all, all her disparate parts begin shaking to help her keep her balance. Once, twice. One more lurch, and she'll be where the god destroyers need her to be, but it doesn't happen. We're not done yet! Sending Ordinex a maximum output, preparing to pierce Demeter's base with a bunker bolt! I looked away for a bit. Damn. There! Demeter's at Point Gamma! Now's our chance, firing our final weapon, the Seven Lake Heroic Spirit Cannon! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Uh, sorry, I don't wanna... That's a loud screaming! We hit her! It... it sounds like she's screaming! Yes, it does, <laughs> doesn't it? Do you hear that? Do you see that? It's working! Oh, wait. You're right! I can see cracks where the blast hit her outer shell! Way to go, Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon! You actually managed to crack open that super tough god armor! <laughs> it's not over yet! Do not let your guard down! The blast still didn't manage to expose Demeter's divine core. 
I can't believe it. Her armor's even tougher than I thought. I hate to say it, but I'm impressed. I can't believe she managed to take a direct hit from our seven lick heroic spirit cannon and remain intact. That being said... Her armor isn't invincible anymore, especially now that we've got Kanan's spear negating her healing authority. We've definitely got a shot at beating her now. Come on, this, there's nothing to be afraid of. Mash, Yusuku! Don't let up now. Keep hitting her with all we've got. Understood, Master. Setting order next to output to 80%. I'll keep up the attack, the attack making use of the Cleronomia's effects. <laughs> so I've got a chance to kill a god now. Perfect. Hell yeah, let's do this thing. You better believe I'm going to use you for my own purposes, Chaldean dumbasses. Oh, oh. Well, what's that Nikola Tesla I just saw now? Is he one of the heroic spirits that got here before us? Does this mean I was working myself up up on nothing? I don't recognize that boy and girl over there either. Well, no matter. Right now our top priority is taking down Demeter. Leave this part to me, everyone. Is that clear? Begin the attack. Oh, all right, no matter. Begin the attack, everyone. All right. Damn, our boy Gor Gordoff really doing something. All right. Holmes is taking his thunder. I know, right? Okay, so yeah, she had. Gotta put her in the front. Okay, let's see. I'll put you in the back here. I'll leave Ozzy in the front. To battle! Everyone else, uh, everyone else weekend going so far. Well, all the bosses in 5.2 I've experienced. There's no way I'll be wanting to fight Demeter again soon. Ugh. Okay, I take it that this is the fight. Two mechanical god admins. デミテル。なんだというのあなたたちは。もう諦めなさい。お嬢様、迎撃準備整いました。地上にあってファラオに不可能なす万物万象を。まねもらうよ、俺は。ああ、ガチャ、ガチャ。<laughs> All right, let's take her down. ヨカロ。全能の神よ。我が子を見よ。そして天地戦。ラムテンです。天地。ダジャクダジャク。ファラオに歯向かう愚か者が剣の使っても砕けはしません我が剣の世悲しきは死私は終わり粉砕粉砕地上にあってファラオに不可能なす
Not being that helpful, Canis. It's a coaddle here now. Sakamoto. Excuse 
Kill that goddess. And excuse you. Oh. That's all good. Boom! Another one broken. Oh, she's got a guts ability. Okay, she only has one. できれば逃げてくれると嬉しいけどね。褒美をやった。よかろう。はい。どうだぜ。キルハー。全能の神。私、私が1ガッツだよ。褒美を。そして、ベッドセル。Looks like it didn't kill her. <laughs> Damn, Demeter. <laughs> You're an a-hole and damn annoying boss. Okay. Skill seal. Alright. There are plenty of ways I can do this. Okay, let's see. Ikuto Shimaska. Hogo Nukuzeo. Oriosa. Let's do that. Finish off the rest of her HP and let her gut fuck. Do it, Sakamoto. And you're done. We did it! <laughs> yes, Sakamoto! Oh shit, we can we can fully send Canis now. Yo, guess who just soloed Crystaria? Uh I don't wanna know anything just yet, unafraid, so can you, if you can keep that to yourself right now, it'll be great because I don't wanna be spoiled. Did it, folks? Man, you guys say that fight was annoying, huh? That wasn't too bad, honestly. That's actually pretty fun. <laughs> get the fuck out, Demeter. There, we managed to get her outer shell off. Did it work? Yes, Demeter's outer core is severely damaged. What appears to be her divine core is now exposed. Ordinex output remains stable. I should be able to maintain anti-divinity combat mode for at least 10 minutes or so. Now we just need to take out her divine core. Demeter's the hardest fight by any far. Wow, and you guys think, oh my god, this is such an annoying fight. This is such an annoying fight. I'm like, it wasn't that bad, guys. Come on. Right. Compared to the other bosses you'll face, Demeter is the hardest, but you, know, you didn't lack riders, so you managed. That is true, I did have a good I did have a good array of single target riders. Hold it! Just hold the hell up! Are you dipshits blind or something? You can't just ignore her cleronomia! Damn it, she hasn't completely stopped regenerating. Uh-oh. 
No, don't close it up. I can confirm her infinite regeneration has started up again. Her wounds are beginning to close. Damn it, we were so close. Demeter, how much are you going to mock us? What are you all doing? Go on, keep hitting her. Canis, can't you use your land authority to neutralize her regeneration? I am, damn it, but it's still not enough to stop that bitch of a goddess. This damn Lost Belt really is directly descended from Gaia, isn't she? Damn it, I started celebrating too soon. It would seem this is well and truly the end. Even with all our great strokes of fortune, we still weren't able to defeat her. We thought we had accounted for our enemies being more powerful than expected in our designs, but her regenerative powers exceed even our wildest expectations. Compared between you and us, you got ST riders on your end. Compared to us, we can't seem to have the advantages. Can't blame us for having trouble, lol. I know, I know. I just, <laughs> I like throwing jabs at you guys whenever I can, alright? I mean... Oh, I meant the... You guys do have, like, a... Like, single target, like, uh... Welfare riders, like the ones, like... Kentucky and whatnot, maybe? I mean, he should have helped too, I think, right? I just so happen to have at least, uh... Ket uh Quetzalcoatl and, uh... And Ozzy. <laughs> the Olympian gods truly seem to surpass us in every way imaginable. Ryder Toki. I wasn't here during Kentucky Ryder's event. Well then, rip! Do you at least have uh, Sakamoto? I know Sakamoto's pretty good too. Or hell, if you're even gonna use three stars, try using the. Uh... Uh, like, you have, like, Mandri Cardo or something? Hey, you got Sakamoto, so that's good. This isn't over yet! If you punks can beat Poseidon, you can sure as shit beat Demeter, too. And Summer Ishtar, and then... But then again, she's an AoE. That is true, yeah. But at least it's better than nothing, right? Besides, nobody kills you jackasses but me! Now take this, Yusaku! It's a little present from Mustache! He said this thing's gonna guaranteed to be a game changer! Task like. Task like. Can, uh, likes Kentoki Berserker mainly. I know. I like both Kentokis, both Berserker and Rider. Jerker is a better option than Ryoma. At least she deals damage. Well, that's the thing, though. The thing is. The thing is, the. the for at least the case of a, uh, uh, in Berserker Jelter, remember the fact that she's a Berserker though, and you're not really gonna be one-shotting her anytime soon though. Ew, just barely caught it. Is this some sort of attachment for the Ortonex? Is that no way? That's right, it's a new piece of Ortonax equipment, Caldea's own technical advisor designed in tandem with our Atlas Institute Alchemist ally. It's a form of cancer made to bring down beings of a scale far beyond human capacity. We call it the Black Barrel. It's the natural longevity conceptual weapon, one of the seven taboos. Not that I know much about it myself, ha 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 ha. Now dealing with the last fight. Hey. And besides, at least Kentucky actually did some pretty good damage too, though. It's not a spoil, just flexing. Well, I'm not talking about that one though. I'm just talking about the the, the type of riders I used to uh, fight Demeter. Ooh, with that, I'll be able to fully ascend Canis once I finish this off. I wish I had Rider Kinto Rider Toki. Rip. Nice catch, Yuzuku. So, what is that thing anyway? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Like that, I'd have a reason to roll on Scotty. I bet Mash will know what to do with it. F 
Foe, foe, special check. Nice pass, Yusuku. Oh, you must play a lot of football, foe. No, foe, I don't play a lot of football. <laughs> yes, Master, I know exactly what to do with this. During Sion's lecture on life scales, she talked about a paradox of Victor that could let someone use a measurement as a weapon. Da Vinci took that concept and ran with it to make a new me mechanism for the Ordinex. I actually had time to practice using it in the simulator while I was on standby at the Wandering Sea. Ooh. Oh shit! Ah, that I want- Give me a sec. I think I got a good- Give me a second, let me check something here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, give me a sec. Whoa, the Ortonex doesn't look like a shield anymore. Oh, oh, ho. so that's how it all works. It really is a gun barrel, isn't it? Anyway, get ready to have your socks knocked off, Yusuku. You're looking at one of the seven taboos. One of the Atlas Institute crowning achievements renowned throughout the entire Magecraft community. Or so I'm told. That sounds vaguely familiar. Indeed, the Seven Taboos are something of a legend among the Mage's Association. <clears throat> They're said to be weapons of Magecraft capable of destroying the very world itself. And the Black Barrel conceptual weapon there is one of them. Miss Sion already possessed a replica of it. I believe she offered it to Chaldea as a souvenir of sorts. I knew she was also working with Da Vinci on a new replacement part for the Ortonex. But I didn't know they had finished their work after we arrived here. Good. No issues with the gun battle transformation. Output and stability are well, are all well above expected parameters. Set out the accomplishments measure. Begin the black battle transformation when ready. Okay. Here goes. Here goes. Initiating accomplishments measure. Ascertaining the meter's life scale. Let me. Get this one. That way it doesn't have the skip button on it. Okay, let me uh kinda give me a sec. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. There, it stopped at forty-five thousand. Beginning black barrel transformation. Preparing to burn the den counter into the gun barrel. Uh, huh? I can hardly blame you for feeling lost. I doubt I could comprehend its workings either. Even were I even were a, uh, if I doubt I can compliment its, comprehend its workings either. Even were I at my peak condition. But while I may not know how it works, I do know what it does. That's Demita's life span. Then again, since she's a machine, perhaps it's her warranty period, or her estimated number of years in operation. Well, no matter. The point is, as long as this universe has finite life span, there's nothing in it that will last forever. Everything that has a form must also inevitably have an end, a limit, if you like. That gun barrel can measure that end and make it tangible, in other words. So it's a weapon that copies its target's mass and throws it right back at them in the form of magical energy. 
Precisely. I must say, Canis, you're far more intelligent than your behavior would suggest. Right. It's not the kind of weapon you could use you could usually carry around like this. But in this case, I was able to miniaturize and stabilize it by restricting the measurement function to the machine guards only. Sion gave me the blueprints for it some time ago. All I needed was a benchmark to use for its core. The first benchmark was Poseidon's Divine Core, and the second... It is the fragment of the Artemis that Canis was holding when drifting down Atlantis. That was the last piece of the puzzle we needed. <laughs> so that idiot Artemis turned out to be good for something after all, huh? But that battle still needs ultra-dense magical energy to do its job, and that means we're going to need you to use a command spell, Yusaku. And not just any command spell, either. No, this is going to have to be a little different. You'll need to use everything you've got. Your magical energy, your stamina, even your own fate. Make no mistake, if you miss this shot, you won't get another. And since Mash has her hands full working the Ordinex, you'll need to work together to time it just right. She'll do the aiming and you'll pull the trigger. Don't worry, I've got this. But that's what I like to hear. Okay, good luck saving proper human history! Thanks, Da Vinci. Now go get some rest already. Huh, I swear, nothing throws you off, does it? Thanks, Yusuke, I'm counting on you. Let's do this, Mash. Right, Senpai. This may be the only first... This may be the only first of Olympus's mechanical gods, but it's still a crucial moment. After everything we did to get her to notice us, now she's paying attention. Oh shit! That's the sound Demeter makes when she's about to get serious. She's storing up a metric shit ton of magical energy in that giant ass of hers. To put it in terms you'll pu you punks will understand, she's about to unleash her true name. Oh, well shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I love you. I really do love you, Persephone. Ah, oh, how sad. How tragic. Demeter's magical energy is rising rapidly. She's about to unleash some massive scream. I don't know what you guys just got a hold of, but you'd better hurry. At the rate she's charging up magical energy, I don't think she'll care if she ends up blowing herself up. You guys need to get out of there now, before you're blasting into ether dust. It's alright, we'll be fine. If my calculations are correct, we should be 0.5 seconds faster. It might not be much, but it's enough for us to win. Connection in place. I measured the meter's destiny. Now I'll use the dead counter to turn it from speculation into reality. Damn. Mash is going to see us go on her ass. Bunker bolt is at its limit. Gun barrel is fully stabilized and synchronized. Master! Load command spell. Loading command spell into Spiritron Chamber. Barrel replica full trance. Go, Ortonex. Oh shit, that looks awesome. part of this segment. The Black Beam of Light. 
was a dream, a fiction designed to kill a god. A consensual blade forged to shatter beings with nigh infinite lifespans. Okay. Guess I can also just checking something here. The concept of natural lifespan, uh, capable of ending the world, is what made it possible to bring an end to end. Uh, possible to bring an end to a life that would otherwise go on forever. The gun barrel replica, charged with god slaying particles, made it possible to shatter unshatterable life. The black beam of light brought death, a finality, an end. Uh, at last. At last, I can finally make my way to you. You left my embrace when you encountered the darkness. You changed irrevocably. You became a mother and gained so very, very much. You smiled so proudly when I lost you forever during the fourth Machia. I have never forgotten that smile. I loved you so much. I loved you more than anything. Persephone. At last, I can finally go where you are. <coughs> Demeter. Please tell me. You're... Oh, you're not Persephone. What are you? You there, from another planet. You're supposed to be my beloved daughter. What the fuck? Demeter, goddess of the land. Now that you know you're about to disappear, don't you have any regrets? That's very kind of you. I do have one regret, just one. I can only pray that these new, tiny, intelligent beings, these ten million of my darling Olympians, are able to find peace. I pray that when their time comes, they are able to go without suffering. Mash be penetrating like her father. Oof. Direct hit! The magical energy bullet punched straight through her divine core! Target's magical energy readings are falling rapidly, and the hostile entity is signal is fading. I can con I can confirm that the enormous hostile entity has gone completely silent. I'm not seeing any magical energy readings either. Congratulations, everyone. The operation is over. We won. You won. You actually defeated Demeter. Is this... Is this really happening? Anti-divinity combat complete. We won, Master. Thank goodness. Oh, shit. I'm getting all... I'm sorry, Mash. I can't move anymore. Senpai! Foe, foe, no! You still owe me a can of kibbles, foe. Yes, I'm seeing this on our end, too. Yusuku's vital signs are dropping as we speak. Both his magical energy readings and vital signs are at dangerous levels. This must be that thing Da Vinci was talking about. Mash! Senpai, grab hold of my shoulder. I'm sorry. Oh god, I think I'm ha getting a hangover. Senpai! Hey, now it's Black Barrel now. Increased Buster card effectiveness, but... Alright. One turn, three turn. No, one time, three turns. Increase critical strength of Buster attacks. And apply ignored defense. Okay. The 
The skill usable by mash carry light only when Ortanax or Ortanax refurbishes. Equipped has been enhanced. Okay. And then this is segment section nine. Oh, this. Wait, what segment is this? Okay, uh, before we do that, before we continue, I want to be able to fully ascend Canis now. Yeah. と<笑> And now to get you to level 80. There we go. Now that she's finished done, I just need the other ones for uh for deal scooty. See how many more do I need for deal scooty? Oh I just need three more! Three more and I can fully ascend them. Okay, let's see. Records fragment. to ask when my life changed, I know exactly what I would tell them. Springtime when I was 15. That said, this isn't the kind of thing you go around telling people about. By all rights, I should take it to my grave. I don't know who's talking right now. Is this Gordolf? Back then, I was enrolled in the... The Astromancy Department at the Clock Tower, aka the Mages Association's headquarters. Rip Canis. Okay, hey, good job in being in it. I was the thirteenth heir to the. Oh, okay, this is uh, Kirstaria. I was the thirteenth heir to the Wodime Legacy, the child who had been granted the protection of the stars. I, I was said to possess the greatest magical circuits of any Wodime to date. And that I was a genius who had already been promised the keys to the Wodime family in a few in a few years' time by the eleventh head of the estate who led the family even now. Those were the sorts of things everyone else would say about me. Me? A genius? Even though I usually spend each day sifting through other department files? Department's files? That was always the sort of response I gave. But I did so more than I did so more from conceit than uh, than modesty. I knew I was talented. 
I was confident I would one day be exactly what everyone expected me to be and more. I wanted for nothing, not lineage, nor talent, nor affection. With so many things working in my favor, it was easy to push myself to greater heights without leaning on my environment. Back then, I took pride in my excellence and would constantly work to further improve myself. I believe those blessed, those blessed with natural talent should still continue to apply themselves and set their sights on even greater stages. I was completely convinced that there was nothing I could not do, and nothing that was beyond my reach. For the past six months, crossing the Great Bridge to reach the Evocation Department College had become something of a routine of mine. I noticed what appeared to be beggars by the path at the opposite side, but I never gave them any thought. At the time, I didn't even see them. It wasn't that I disliked them or that I was trying to avoid them. It was that for me, they may as well not have existed at all. I was a prodigy, born to carve out a new age of magecraft. I didn't have time to get involved with people like them. I was born into an environment far better than most could hope for, with talents far greater than most could dream of. That was why I had a duty to fulfill. Hey Mental Out, how's it going? I was going to create something beautiful. I was going to create something wonderful. It was that ideal, that passion, that made me apply myself to my studies day in and day out. It was the reason I so frequently visited that college, even when it arguably belonged to an enemy. I didn't realize how arrogant I was being, how childish. That's good to hear. On that day, I was headed home later than usual. It was the middle of the night, with no one on the bridge and the stars hidden behind the clouds. Kristaria Wodheim. Everything happened so fast that I failed to react in time. That turned out to be a fatal mistake. I wasn't surprised that an assassin had been sent to try and kill someone as young as me. I was surprised because my, be my would-be assassin was a manservant I had frequently seen in my own house. I counterattacked automatically before I even thought about what to do, thanks to the spells that had been engraved into my body. The assassin never got another chance. Vacuum blade sliced him to bits before he could pull the trigger again. But it was enough. He had already been critically wounded. He had already critically wounded me, and there was no hope of escape. He wasn't the only assassin who had been sent to take my life. I knew because. It's done. Send out more men. Find Kerstaria's body. It was my father trying to kill his own son. <laughs> He fell into the river! Find him! Of course, I wasn't the only one who'd fallen in. It was my ring, after I'd cast a weight alteration spell on it. I knew it wouldn't do more than buy me some time, but at the moment it was the best move I could make. After I drew the, ass the assassin's attention towards the river, I activated a footstep cancellation spell in my shoes, and got as far away from them as I could. Okay, now what do I? My consciousness began to fade away. I went back to the bridge instead of heading to the city exit, and my strength gave out just as I was making my way to a narrow back alley. At the time, I didn't yet know that my assailant's weapon was an, was an ordinary magecraft. Rather, it was a kind of poison that just... Uh, it was a kind of poison just like the sort used by a famous mage killer that was designed to attack magical circuits directly. Gah. I was in a dimly lit room. Within it, nothing more than the sound of dripping water and the scent of mildew. I was on a makeshift bed made from an old wooden crate. A bare minimum of bandaging had been applied to my back. There was no pillow, no blankets, and no restraints on my arms or legs. 
I was technically free, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to move so much as a finger. The wound in my chest had yet to close, and I lacked the strength to even stand. I had been laid, da laid down to rest with no more ceremony than a corpse. Where am I? At first, I thought my assassins had captured me, but then I realized they would have no reason to keep me alive. After all, since it was my own family trying to kill me, there was little sense in torturing me for information. I couldn't understand what was going on. My thoughts refused to put themselves in order. Still just barely conscious, I managed to crane my neck enough to observe the dimly lit room. <laughs> Something was in the corner of the room, as if it were trying to hide from what little light there was. It was then that I noticed something strange staring directly at me. Seriously? Just when I decide to stop by, it so it doesn't look like I've been gone for two days straight. can't believe this guy. He's just basking in the sun, snoozing away on a bench without so much of a single guard. Hey. Hey, Wodime. Don't you think it's time you got up? You are the Crypter's leader, right? Aren't you the one guy representing humanity in the power struggle between the Olympian gods and humans? How can you just leave yourself completely defensive like this? Come on, wake up already. Is that you, Kadok? Wait... Cadoc, what are you doing here? This is my room. Never mind. No, it isn't. This is the Hanging Gardens of the Great Orbital Shrine Olympia. Well, that was careless of me. The sunlight was so pleasant that I didn't even realize I had fallen asleep. I was dreaming about something I hadn't thought about in a long time. I feel very silly. I guess I just got too relaxed without Canis around to keep me in line. Anyway, thank you for waking me up before I could waste any more time. You don't have to thank me. I only spoke up because it was weird seeing you like that. Weird? How so? Well, you're not exactly the sort of guy to just doze off out in public. You're like perfectionism, perfectionism incarnate. You don't get to take naps like a typical college slacker. I see. While I do take some issue with the impression you seem to have of me... I also understand now why, is, why it is you're so surprised. I'll be more careful in the future. Now then, what is it you wish to see me about, Kadok? Do you have something to report to me? Ah, oh, crap. I was so shocked seeing him sleeping like that that I forgot I didn't actually have anything to tell him. And I can't just fib or he'll know I've been up to something. Wait, I've got it. They got Demeter. One of the great gods of Olympus, gone just like that. Some perfect being she turned out to be. Oh, and one more thing. A ten lancer with white hair was helping them out. Luckily, it looks like Europa didn't catch that part. So how's it feel, Wodime? How's it feel knowing the loser you thought you'd disposed of is not only alive, but actively working against you now? That is a surprise. I never would have expected Canis to go over to Caldea's side. And they managed to destroy Demeter's true form. They must have far better they must have been far better prepared than I thought. So, a tiny rebel force managed to bring down a powerful authority figure. How very rock and roll. No wait, heavy metal feels more appropriate given the composition of the gods' bodies. Uh am I going deaf or did you just make a lame pun about music? Apologies. Perhaps I've not quite awakened yet. At any rate, I'm surprised you knew something even Queen Europa did not. It almost sounds as though you were there watching things unfold in person, Kadok. You must have found yourself a very good familiar indeed. Well, you know, I can't just sit around here mooching free grub forever. I'm still a cryptor after all, so I need to be ready to fight again at least one more time. I see. Then make sure you take good care of that familiar. An ace up your sleeve can mean the difference between life and death after all. Rest assured, you don't need to tell me the uh, you don't need to tell me, the other cryptors or anyone else in Olympus, what yours is. That said, if it should come to light that you were using something you shouldn't be, 
then I will unfortunately be forced to respond in whatever way is appropriate. I have my own role to fulfill, after all. Shit, how much does he know? I better change the subject fast. So, uh, by the way, about Demeter. Caldea might have been able to beat her, but it still wasn't because they straight up overpowered her. It looked to me like Demeter was looking for something. No, that's not right. Maybe trying to recover something. She kept apologizing over and over. And not to the Olympians she was killing, but to one person in particular. That's the only reason they were able to destroy her. Any idea what she was looking for? I see. So that did hold so that did hold her back, as I suspected it might. Just like in proper human history, this lost belt's demeanor once had a daughter she loved dearly. Her name was Persephone. It's said that Demeter wept long and hard after Hades stole her away to the underworld. Yet despite that, she never stopped loving her daughter. But a few thousand years ago, her daughter died during the fourth Machia. Hang on, Wodime, that, do that doesn't add up. I don't know if she was a full god or a demigod or what, but I thought the people didn't die in this city. Not necessarily. Humans are simply incapable of killing other humans. The, immortal the, uh, the immortality humans enjoyed this lost spell. I'm uh. oh, sorry. The immortality the hu- God damn it. The immortality humans enjoy in this lost spell is not true immortality, but pseudo-immortality. The gods can easily end their subjects' pseudo-immortal lives if they wish. So the one who killed Persephone was... One of the gods? You mean, one of the gods from the Coexistence Faction? No, it was not one of them. Then... Persephone sided with the Coexistence Faction, so Zeus ordered Demeter to kill her own daughter. <laughs> so she was calling out to the daughter she killed, as if she was still alive, huh? Sounds almost human of her. These gods aren't machines, right? I mean, these gods are machines, right? How can they function properly when they're contradicting themselves like that? I understand your confusion, but it's precisely their machine nature that means this was no contradiction at all. Their minds don't work like ours, after all. That's the tragedy of the twelve Olympian machine gods right there. Whether gods create humans or humans create gods, both sides usually share a common understanding of the world in which they live. But the Olympians are different. They weren't gods to begin with. They only came to the, be defined by that way. Blah, blah, blah. They only came to be defined that way over time. It was because their functions enabled them to control this weather, provide endless amounts of food, destroy various life forms, memories, and mass-produce weapons, that led to the residents of this lost belt seeing them as gods. They then incorporated this definition into their functions in order to operate more smoothly on this planet. After all, the people of the ancient world wanted superior beings so that they could pray to, not cold, unfeeling spaceships. And so, they accepted the new roles they had been given, and became mechanical gods instead of mere machines. As a result, they ended up making this god play, act play acting into a new directive, all without ever understanding how the intelligent beings treating them as gods actually felt. Cold and unfeeling, huh? So is that why Demeter went nuts? Because she ended up with feelings tacked onto herself when she didn't need them? This was less a matter of contradiction than it was of conflict. Humans can rationalize acts like that by telling themselves there was nothing else they could have done. But she had no choice but to treat the order to kill her own daughter like any other assigned task. She wasn't crazy. She was just in pain. That's what it means to be a god in this lost belt. It's also why they were able to realize a real-life utopia where nobody has to die or grow old. And here I thought machines always operated on pure logic. Alright, if that's what the gods are like here, then what's your game, Wodime? Your goal is to bring about the age of gods again, right? Is that really the kind of god you want to be? Of course God should run the world, that being said. The future, the answer I seek, is a little different from Zeus's. 
what I see, Kadok, is an even more perfect age. An age where there will be neither conflict nor contradiction. It is my responsibility to see that age come about, and it is what the foreign god wishes. Huh. Interesting. Okay, this is getting really interesting now. Oh, sweet. この海の上ではなかなか季節の小さなことからコツコツと。Okay. Okay. I guess this we're doing more story. Oh my. How to spot Jojo fans, Omai wa mo shinderu. Wait, that's a uh, Fist of the North Star. Mm. Even as I gaze up at the sky, I know nothing I see there will ever excite me again. I'm not reminded of cheeky Artemis. I think Artemis when I see the moon, nor do I think of aggravating Apollo when I see the sun. I don't know who's talking now. Even the stars are just fixed... Even the stars are just fixed points of light, and I couldn't care less about Father Zeus's attempts to string them together into constellations. <coughs> as far as I'm concerned, the sky is nothing more than a vast inky expanse. Filled with lifeless spheres of flame that blink in and out of view aimlessly. When was it that I stopped sensing Father Zeus's love in the starry sky? When was it that the night sky began to feel so far away to me? When was it that I became a cold, lifeless machine? When was it that I lost a love I once felt in my heart? Was that the meter? Isn't the meter already dead? Great Orbital Shrine, Olympia de Donna. Machina Corridor. <coughs> I swear, Barrel really knows how to make a girl, I mean, a stunning beauty work. I'm glad he introduced me to a new client, of course. Hey, she's back. But I certainly wasn't expecting a contract on this scale. Toilet paper, airplanes, and everything in between. Basically, anything I can find that comes from proper human history is a tall order, even for me. I still can't believe I ultimately agreed to deliver an entire department store fully stocked with both merchandise and sales clerks, no less. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I never wanted to go on a vacation so badly before. Not that I could afford to take one now, given what things are like cho my chosen vacation spot. To think mighty Olymp that Mighty Olympus home based of mechanical gods and cryptors alike, would already have lost one of its key divinities. So much for this being the greatest lost belt of all. What an absolute joke this place turned out to be. <laughs> and what might you be, hmm? You were wailing too loudly to be talking to yourself, and your voice was too, too irritatingly shrill to be growling of an insipid beast. Whichever it was, I don't want to hear another word, you you like hound painted wolf. Remember, you're in the presence of a god, so you're con you are to conduct yourself accordingly. Oh my, I'm so terribly sorry. I do hope you can forgive me. Had I known there was a god here, and one prone to something so base as eavesdropping to boot, I'd have spoken more softly. Oh wait, I'm sorry, perhaps I have it all wrong. Perhaps you're simply distraught over losing one of your mechanical comrades. In that case, I, must re I really must apologize. I would never want to offend a customer, after all. I would understand perfectly if we were talking about one of the twelve Olympians from proper human history who had already lost the Alethea they received from primordial chaos. 
But seeing how, here in this Lost Belt, you're all still completely static mechanical gods who never even heard of Panther Ra Well, I simply never would have dreamed you'd feel anything in the way of pity for a fellow goddess. Who was so careless as to let mere humans get the better of her? Well, well. You are a funny one, aren't you? I've never heard a woman speak so defiantly towards me before. At least not when they were aware I'm the goddess of love and beauty. You're one of the gods from a foreign land, right? I can certainly see how well you fit in with Limbo. That's very kind of you to say, but I'm afraid I must correct you on one thing. I may be an alter ego servant. But I am not one of the foreign gods' three disciples. Our arrangement is purely professional. Our mutual interests just happen to align. That's all. Oh, really? Then whose servant are you? Oh, right. Come to think of it, I've heard about servants who weren't summoned by anyone in particular. Somebody once warned us that there were seven evil spirit ordens that materialized on their own without anything or anyone calling for them. Hmm. I wonder who it was. Rasputin, Molokman. Rasputin, most likely. He does so enjoy giving out warnings that seem nonsensical at first, but turn out to be surprisingly helpful in the end. Still, that particular warning doesn't have anything to do with me. Not yet, anyway. Okay, I'm stretching too. Nor, I'm sure does... Nor, I'm sure, does the omen of a beast have anything to do with you, oh beautiful Venus? <laughs> nice, very nice. You really are funny, aren't you? You've never had anyone like you on Olympus before. Like Limbo, you don't even try to hide your wicked nature. But you, you don't sneer just to sneer, hmm? I like you. What's your name? Tamamovich Koyanskaya. But please, just call me Koyanskaya, Venus. Very nice. I like the way you call me by my other proper human history name, too. You know, I think you and I have a lot in common. Don't you think we could be at least something close to friends? Close to friends? Absolutely. But are you sure that's a good idea? What do you mean? Well, word has it that the gods of Olympus protect all humans fairly, you see. Word also has it that you show extra favor to the, to the ancients, the descendants of intelligent beings from, an, from a bygone continent. Almost said planet. Some even say that you, well, love them. Oh, that. True, Demeter did like to talk about love and thi love this and love that, but I've never gone for that stuff with humans. After all, I only oversee love. I don't engage in it. Oh my, I see you're just as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside. So you only oversee love without ever engaging in it, hmm? <laughs> How very interesting. Some gods in proper human history also like to protect humans, while others like to possess them. But I never heard of one who liked to keep humans just as pets. Well, I can't say I share your particular taste. I do have to agree that you and I both appreciate the finer points of cruelty. The Hanging Gardens? Oh! Uh, uh, oh! I didn't overhear your whole conversation, but it certainly sounded like you two were getting along swimmingly. I take it you and Koya Skya are really hitting it off then? Who asked you, Cryptor? What business is it of yours who I do or do not get along with? Anyway, never mind that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Me? You have a question for me? Normally, I'd be more than happy to expound at length about love, but I have a feeling my, my more modern sensibilities would be a tad too cruel for an ancient god like yourself. Can I ask if you're, you know, up to date with the latest beauty standards? Up to date? Exactly what would I need to update my standards? I, are, I already am beauty. Beauty is my domain, so I and I alone decide what is beautiful in this world. All you humans need to do is comply with my aesthetics. Do that, and you'll be happy and well. 
Hmm, spoken like a true god. You make a good point. Some gods are kind while others are strict. I guess you're yeah, I guess you're your strict self today, huh? Now that I've ever seen so much as a hint of your kind side. Fortunately for you, I'm curious enough to overlook your insolence, at least this time. Remember, I said I had a question for you. Tell me, human who calls himself Pepperoncino, how does it feel to have lost your lost belt? <laughs> this is what happened, isn't it? You lost the entire ancient land of India, just like that. So I can't help but be curious on how impossibly incompetent you must be to allow a miracle like that. You know, I was really looking forward to invading other lost belts with Zeus. I want to kill the Tsar of those humans who turned themselves into demonic beasts. I want to kill the goddess who kept those human breeding grounds running for thousands of years. I want to utterly destroy that uppity emperor who claimed to be a Zarin. And I want to mash your head into paste along with that insolent, syncretic god you who ate up all those other gods. But now... <sighs> Caldeus destroyed them all before we had the chance. It's so disappointing. You're right. I have no one to blame for my loss but myself. I'm sorry I couldn't live up to your expectations. Um, here, I thought you'd either cower in fear or blow up in anger, but you didn't do either. You're no fun, Pepe. Well, it is a fact that you can't argue with facts. Well, I mean... Well, it is a fact, and you can't argue with facts. That goes for both your godlike aspirations and my own failure. But I suppose there's one thing I'd like to say in response. To be clear, there these are my honest thoughts. There's no deeper motive here. Well, what is it? You're not very attractive, are you? Your proper human history and mythological counterpart was much more charming. I always knew Aphrodite as the goddess of love and beauty, though as Zeus's daughter, she also acted like the god of death at times. Her body was the platonic ideal of the female form, and I also suspect that Ishtar, the Sumerian goddess of Venus, had some influence on her divine manifestation. But in your case, at least as you are, at least as you are now, well... Go on, Pepe. Tell me, how do I seem to you? Hmm. Speaking strictly personally, I've always known Aphrodite to have two distinct sides to her divinity, but I can't. I can only see one side to you. Never mind the rigmarole. Just spit it out already. How do I seem to you, Pepe? Well, unlike your proper human history self, you don't seem you. You don't seem like you'd ever choose to marry Hephaestus. Is that so? That's not to say that certain aspects of you aren't just like your counterpart in proper human history, though. Well, do you know about the Trojan War? The war that fought between the, the Grecian allies and the Kingdom of Troy? I'm oh, sorry. A war fought solely between humans? Who cares? You are partially responsible for it, even in proper human history. You won over Prince Paris of Troy and offered the Trojans your protection along with Apollo and the other gods. Ultimately, your actions led to a massive war that brought all of Troy to ruin. Yourself from proper human history never wanted things to turn out that way, but... I'm oh, sorry. She didn't. Well then, she's nothing like me at all. I never have to think twice about destroying a human nation or two. In fact, I'd enjoy it. Give me a sec, folks. I'm going to re get my drink again.
And I return. And it looks like my, uh... Oh. It looks like my tablet just reset itself. Give me a sec, folks. Sorry about that. Also, I have to use the bathroom for a bit. And I think we're gonna have a login refresh, too. Folks, I'd never think twice about destroying a human nation or two. I mean, I never think twice about destroying a human nature or two. In fact, I enjoy it. And when I was done, I'd give the survivors a big smile. I'd give them my condolences on the difficult time they endured and encourage them to do better next time. Then I'd tell them, to, then I'd, tell them I'd give them a reward depending on how hard they worked. And when there was only one human left standing, I'd give them a genuine smile. Ooh. Damn, she nuts. battle it's Mordred no 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 this is all wrong no way do you just show up looking like that where am I Camelot Avalon no no this is Olympus it's gotta be you and I got no reason to fight Wait, who is Mordred fighting? Who is that? Who's singing in my freaking head? Uh, uh, uh. Friend, is that you? Easy there, girly. What's gotten into ya? It's Kentucky. Mordred's our friend! Don't you remember fighting that giant mechanical Argos together? Ugh, ah, ugh, ah. Kentucky? You are Sakata Kentucky, right? Hell yeah, I am! Wait, you were just going to town under yourself, weren't you? You were just going to town under yourself, weren't you? The hell's going on? You two were doing fine just a little while ago. We even finally got that Argos thing to stop regenerating itself. All we had left to do was plant the goods. Boss! Boss Raiko! Kentucky? Boss, I need your help. We need to get these two to- It's too late, Kentucky. There's nothing we can do for them now. We've made a dreadful mistake. The Argos was nothing more than a decoy. We are little more than flies lured into the spider's web. I'm afraid. I won't be able to control myself much longer, either. Wait. Is this affecting Berserkers? Oh no, we had to kill the Mama Raiko. I was able to endure it a little thanks to my madness enhancement. But very soon, I won't be able to stop myself from killing you. Ugh. So please, Kentucky, my dear child, please. Kill me right now! Don't even joke about that, boss! Ugh. 
What have I done? Damn it, Fran, I'm sorry. Oh, damn. And we have a yet, yet another one that has no battles. Give me a sec, folks. After this section, we are going to end the stream after this. So, let's just finish this up. You did great yesterday. Hey, she's at my bedside. Oh, uh, right. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, huh? <laughs> I did knock a few times, but you never answered, so I got worried. Sorry. It's all good. Morning, Musashi. Good morning. I guess you're still a little sleepy. Now that I think of it, you're always hard you always were hard to wake up. But that's fine. You did just get through a battle with an honest-to-goodness god, after all. Not to mention that you almost died. I had a feeling that was the case. But I'm okay now, I think. You sure? As a matter of fact, Master's right by your side up until dawn. But then now I see you. She insisted she was going to stay with you until you woke up, but she was pretty worn out herself. So we all kind of ganged up on her to convince her to take a nap. It took a while, but eventually she agreed. And now, here we are, with me checking in on you. Sorry if I woke you, I promise I didn't mean to. You don't have to get up if you're not ready to, okay? Wait, give me a sec. I'm pretty sure your body's recovered by now, but if you still want to rest a bit, you're more, you've more than earned it. Well then, I think I'll do just that. Go for it! In the meantime, I'll tell you about what's going on outside. What happened to the city after we beat Demeter? You really want to know? I took a quick peek outside earlier, and it looked like recovery operations were already underway. Over half the populace had come back to life, and I didn't see anything in the way of dead bodies or blood splatters. I think they said something about Zeus taking over the Harvest Authority now that Demeter is gone. No wonder they call him Almighty. As for Demeter's remains, well a whole bunch of machines just showed up out of nowhere. Disassembled her into, into her component parts and carried them all the way back to the Big Sky Shrine. It was a crazy sight, believe me. I wish you could have seen it. The way things are going, I bet the whole district will be good as new in a few days. For the moment, I'm glad to hear that. So that's your reaction, huh? It's true, we're lucky we got out of that with so few losses. Just don't push your luck too much, okay? Anyway, how tough was Demeter, huh? Talk about a worthy opponent. She totally would have kicked our asses if we didn't have Canis's Firebird going all whoosh! Not to mention the Alliance and Chaldea's secret weapons. Me, on the other hand, well, I was kind of useless. Guess I should have known it wouldn't be easy to cut through a hunk of met metal that huge. I only pulled it off in Russia because I was super focused. It's a whole different story when you're up against a solid mass of machinery. It just goes to show there's some things I can't cut, even from the void. 
Honestly, it makes me wonder if there's anything an empty sword even can cut. I can see the zero that lies beyond the void. And I know that's my ultimate destination, whether it's proper human history Musashi or me. But still. Well, I'm, scl I'm still glad you were there, Musashi. <laughs> really? Well, I'm really glad you're here. I tend to fall into bad habits real, real easily, as you know. That's why I need someone like you who's got their act together, counting on me for help. Whoops, sorry about that. Guess it's me. Guess that means it's time for breakfast. Like they say, you can't wage war in an empty stomach, and breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Plus, Mash ought to be waking up soon, and I'll bet she'll be waiting in the cafeteria. So come on, let's go. Yeah, hey, I thought I was going to rest. But then again, I do need food. Simp, you're up. Good morning. Foe, you are back, foe, please. I need my head scratchies. You look so much better than you did yesterday. You really are back to your old self again, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. Sorry to worry you. Oh, there you are, Yusuku. Hmm, yes, you look quite alert for j having just woken up. Very good. Fortunately, the demi-servant there has already briefed me on your current situation. Congratulations on your recovery, Mr. Yusuku. Interesting. It would seem the medical facilities in this Alliance base are truly exceptional. While we do have the healing mystic codes of our own, they alone would not have been enough to save your life. Indeed, Olympia technology deserves all of the credit for your continued survival. I am, of course, kidding. It's actually proper human history magecraft. Specifically healing spells designed for people from proper human history that the Alliance heroic spirits left behind. So they really saved us in more ways than one, then. Indeed, if it had not been for both the Seven Lake Heroic Spirit Cannon and the advanced healing spells, there is an excellent chance we would not be here right now. <clears throat> May I go on now? There's still a matter of you falling asleep at the beginning of our teleconference. But under the circumstances, I'm willing to overlook it. Excellent work yesterday. Now that Demeter is gone, we've taken a significant step forward toward our goal. Good morning. Breakfast is on the table. I know you should be physically recovered. I know you should be physically recovered now, but you'll still need to eat to replenish your strength. Sorry for serving the same kind of food as yesterday. Neither my sister nor I are much for cooking. Hey, speak for yourself, Makarios. I like cooking just fine. I even took a course for it, remember? Yeah, 2,000 years ago. Come on, sister. You and I both know you haven't really cared about food for the least... Uh, well, you and I both know you haven't really cared about food for at least the last few hundred years. And that line about needing to eat replenish to replenish your strength? You haven't said anything like that at... You haven't said anything like that in at least 10,000 years. Don't be silly, sister. Come on, Makarios, not in front of our guests. Uh, Director, Adele and Makarios are... Yes, I've been informed. They're the two locals have been who have been helping you out. Apparently, I'm a... they know who we are and... They know who we are and what we're here to do and are willing to help us in any way, despite being native inhabitants of the Lost Belt. Not just willing, in fact. As I recall, they, even, they asked the help of their own accord, hard as that is to believe. But then again, perhaps I would feel similarly if I had lived for as long as them. Perhaps if I'd studied Magecraft to obtain a long life for myself, I might have had something better to say to them. Hmm. Adele and Makarios, are you two truly certain about this? If we succeed according to the Tree of Emptiness, then you two will, you know... You don't need to worry about us, Director Gordolf. Yeah, we're just as dedicated to the God Destroy Alliance as anybody, and we know exactly what's at stake here. I see. In that case, I have nothing more to say.
Okay, just adjusting my pop filter. So, uh, you two are utopian humans who never age a day, huh? There may be significant differences in your lifespans, but seeing as how empty you seem to be, I can't help but be reminded of the homunculi's. I think that's enough for now, Director. Oh, oh right. <clears throat> now then, since, you've, since you're only just joining us, Yusuku, let me fill you in on the Stormboarder's status. Captain Nemo is still recovering, and while my technical advice technically still is, too... Hey, hey! Morning, Yusuku! Hey, aren't you supposed to be recovering? Oh, come on, it's just a short talk. So, Yusuku, are you getting enough sleep? Did you have breakfast yet? You might not be too hungry right now, thanks to the load you put on your nervous system yesterday, so just take your time getting the nutrients you need. You basically have to overload your body in order to use the black barrel. Since you were connected directly to it when you loaded it with a command spell, the recoil must have been intense. Believe me, I noticed. I mean, it's no surprise it took a hell of a lot out of you, seeing as how it let you take down a god with one shot. Command spells might be incredible sources of compressed magical energy strong enough to control a heroic spirit. That is, ghost liner materialization. But there's still not enough to fire the black barrel at full power. Then you mean... Like I said right before you fired it. The black barrel places, as much, places a much, much heavier load on your body than a normal command spell. And that's just for a single shot. Trying to fire it in rapid succession could very easily kill you. <laughs> Firing consecutively without giving yourself time to recover in between has a high risk of inducing heart failure. It would also put Bash out of commission since she's directly linked to the Ortonex in firing it. So basically, try to fire it more than once and you all die. Be careful with it. You're not sugarcoating this, huh? Well, so I'm sorry. I thought it'd be better just to come right out and say it instead of just tiptoeing around it. But in retrospect, I should have been a little more delicate. Again, I'm sorry. It's fine. I appreciate you being straight with us. Glad to hear it. Oh. Whoops. Got a little dizzy here. I can't believe I almost fell down over nothing. Nothing my foot! I swear, do you even realize how hard you pushed yourself putting the black pedal together? And that's not even getting into how you were already worn out to begin with. Enough is enough, technical advisor. For the time being, you need to dedicate yourself solely to recovery. Is that clear? Okay. Da Vinci, I didn't realize you were working yourself so hard to help us. Please take it easy for a while, Da Vinci. Uh, this is nothing compared to what you two are going through on the front line, but okay, I'll try to rest. <laughs> you better. Alright, that's enough from the technical advisor. Now then, let's keep bringing each other up to speed, shall we? Er, Mash, this may be somewhat unseemly to ask, but did you... But did you know who come in handy? Um, I'm sorry, I actually don't think I know what you mean. Oh, come now. Sure, oh, come now, sure you do. The terrifying helper I waited to send you away until the time was just right. We may, we may be enemies for now. Well, we may be enemies, but for now you can trust Canis. Just do your best to stay on good terms so that you can keep making good use of- Good use of what? Oh, I mean, good useful stuff towards recovery. Oh, that's it. At, at any rate, oh, the um, important thing is that you're all getting along. Oh, sure. We're getting along great. How's that saying go again? The closer you are with someone, the more you fight? Foe, foe. She gives me the heebie-jeebies, foe. Canis! Uh, I am, uh, good morning. Bonjour. Hey, morning. Hey, morning pleasantries, huh? Kind of laid back bunch, ain't ya? We make a point to make ourselves feel at home wherever we go. So, how are things with you, Canis? A little sluggish since I'm low on magical energy, but I'm okay otherwise. Better now we smash the meter's face in. Better now that we smash the meter's face in. Good morning, Canis. So you're one of the Argonauts in proper human history, huh? 
I appreciate you helping out, helping us out against Demeter, but does it, does that mean you're going to join our alliance? Huh? The hell do you think? Hey. Huh? Yes. Do you need my seal of approval or something? Hell no. I'm not here to be friends with any of you punks. I'm just here to help and to repay my debts, both to you punks and to Kerstaria. Foe! I don't like the sounds of this foe. Foe scared. But don't forget this, dipshits. This only lasts until my debt is paid. Soon as it is, we're gonna fight back. We're gonna fight. Oh, my, my. Soon as it is, we're going right back to killing each other. Fine with me. Welcome aboard. Good. Best of luck going again. Uh, best of luck going up. Go uh, best of luck going up against those hunks of metal. You're gonna need it. Hmm. Interesting. I was aware Yusuku and Mash frequently accomplished their goals with the help from allies made along the way, but I didn't know our new director shared the same trait. Alternatively, there may be simple. There may be. Uh, there may be simply be something about Caldea that naturally attracts people of that temperament. Ha! Huh, as much as I enjoyed the flattery in Mission of Pfizer, be warned that it won't affect your bonus. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the Black Barrel. Just because you've had that com just because you've had that conceptual weapon fitted to the Ortonax, Mash doesn't mean. Wait, uh, let me try that again. Wait. Just because you've had that conceptual weapon fitted for to the Ortonex Mash doesn't mean you should use it lightly. Remember, you still ultimately need Yusuko's command spells to fire it. And since you already used one in your battle against Demeter, that means you can only fire the black bullet two more times. Remember that. Only two more times, huh? That's not very many at all. Indeed it isn't. And don't forget, we can replenish your command spells any. Oh, we can't. And don't forget, we can't replenish your command spells anymore, even if you are able to make it back to the border. The only way you'll be able to restore them is to return to the Caldea base and connect yourself to a few magical reactors as usual. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, speaking of which, what is the storm border status? Are you still completely defenseless? Funny you should ask, since you're the one who left us high and dry in the first place. Yes, needless to say, we're still very much completely defenseless. I wish you could send us a heroic spirit to help us out, but I know that's just not possible right now. So in the meantime, we'll be here laying low as we wait and hope your, that your plan succeeds. Besides, I'm sure Captain will wake up soon, and when he does, I can ask him to defend the border to the best of his ability, without exacerbating his condition, of course. Rest assured, I'm prepared to bargain with as many soft, buttery croissants as necessary. Something on your mind, Makarios. I was just thinking about how we can get you guys back to your ship if you need to go there. You said you made an emergency landing in the Western Frontier Zone, right? Is that what you call this area? At any rate, yes, that sounds right. Gotcha. And uh, Never mind then. There's no safe way to get there. Sorry for getting your hopes up. Just forget I said anything. Maybe that's uh, maybe there's no safe way to get to the frontier zone, but is there one for the other zones? Yes, there is. We can use the underground infrastructure. It won't let us go everywhere, but it could get us to a lot of places. Hmm, I see. I'll have to remember that. Hey, Mustache! Yes? If you only need to move one person around, I can take him myself. Having authority over the sea means I've got the power to navigate it. Basically means I can cross any border, lost belt or not. But hey, it's up to you. Besides, I'm not gonna lie, it could be a rough way to travel. The authority to cross borders. So it was Poseidon's gift that let you move freely between lost belts. Do. Not. Say that name. Ah, yes, I do beg your pardon. I'm afraid I'm one of those sorts who must think out loud but to put their thoughts in order, you see. Foe, foe, you're asking to get belted, foe. I don't give a
give a shit while you do it. Say it again, and I'll kill you then and there. Duly noted. Or, or may I say something now? Is it safe to assume we're all just about up to speed now? Although, hmm. I never thought every heroic spirit who got here before us would already be gone. I'm afraid so. Foe. No, foe is sad, foe. But hey, at least you met up with me. Don't worry, I've got this. How? There's only one of you. Then again, I suppose Miyamoto Musashi is an extremely powerful heroic spirit. Plus, we have Cadus on our side, too. The Black Barrel's destructive force is truly remarkable, and we also have local allies providing us with safe haven. Looking at everything we have going for us, I know I should be happy. But I still can't get over it. The instant we kill Demeter, Zeus just swoops in and takes over her authority like it's no big deal. And not only that, he's already got the South District back on its feet, even after it was completely destroyed only yesterday. How can it be so damn omnipotent? <sighs> ah, come on, General Gof, cheer up. These guys are as golden as golden gets. We might have tried to slay the gods, but they actually pulled it off. Exactly! You ought to be throwing your hands up in the air, cheering, not staring at the ground and shit. Ugh, ugh. Allow us to introduce ourselves again, Director of Caldeo. We are the God Destroyer Alliance, or rather, the AI built from its remains. Kintoki, Mordred, you're here too, Fran and Raiko. Oh, 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 oh. So all these powerful heroic spirits working together still won't enough to defeat the gods of Olympus. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> All right, which one of us, which one of you ass faces installed a friend persona? <laughs> oh god. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of wondering that too. Why did you install her, her persona too? Ugh. So I need a drink after that. All right, which one of you ass faces installed a friend persona? How are we gonna tell him everything we need to tell him like this? <laughs> That's there's certainly never a dull moment with the second squad around. All right, I think this Nikola Tesla persona had best take it from here. Tesla wasn't exactly a wallflower himself, you know. Just let it go, Makarios. We'll never get anything done if we point out every little thing like that. I never imagined we would get new reinforcements and weaponry at this point in the game. It seems things are looking up for the Alliance. Now then, let us resume Operation God Destroyer in earnest. But let me be clear, this is not a plan for defeating the individual machine gods. This is a plan to bring down THE god, the omnipotent Zeus himself. You you really th have a plan to defeat Zeus? Foe, foe, I say we take it to him, foe. Now that's what I'm talking about. I've been waiting to hear how us Chaldeans are going to take the, take the fight to an omnipotent god. This is so much fun, don't you think, Canis? Why are you dragging me into this? You think, fun, you think fun even enters into the equation while I'm stuck with you morons? We're not friends, dipshit. Now, now, don't be like that. Ours may be a business relationship, but that doesn't change the fact that we're we'll still be fighting together. Besides, don't you love throwing caution to the wind and fighting battles that are against impossible odds? You think I'm the same kind of headcase as you, bitch? I don't hate impossible odds, but I'm not a freaking fan of- I'm not a freaking fan either. My fun's in absolutely crushing my enemies. I've got no interest in a fight I know I can't win. Oh, really? Then why'd you come over to our side? Hmm? I'm betting you actually love fighting against impossible odds just as much as you love completely demolishing your enemies. Don't worry, I totally get it. I'm exactly the same way. Didn't I just say I'm not a freaking head case like you? Ahem. If you two would be so kind as to bond over your shared lust for battle at a later time. Uh, AI, may I ask you exactly what it is you have in mind? As I recall, the 7 Link Heroic Spirit Cannon was a one-time only option. Are you saying you have something else on hand that could bring down a god? I th You know, I think I had a dream about this. Golden! That's exactly it! That's it exactly, boss! Our last option for taking down Granddaddy Zeus himself is to use a great summoning circle to summon a major VIP ally of- um, 
It's a user great summoning circle. Oh. oh wow, I am really off my game right now. It's to use a great summoning circle to summon a major VIP ally of a proper human history. A great summoning circle? So you mean a spell designed to summon a heroic spirit? That's the one. Though it's gonna be a little different from the Chaldea style summoning you, you might have used to. You, that you might be used to. Now, let me tell you how we're gonna go about summoning this VIP. A whole bunch of heroic spirits from all walks of life put their heads together come up with a foolproof timeless method. You see, chain reaction summons happen pretty easily in Lost Belts and Singularities, so we figured all we needed to do was give that process a nudge in the right direction. The result is the Great Summoning Circle. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you about. Oh my, the result is the Great Summoning Circle I'm about to tell you about. We call it the God Destroyer Grand Class de Designation Summon. Ooh, a Grand Servant. This right here is our ace in the hole. Oh, so that's why they're gonna summon the God Romulus and stuff too, which who I will be summoning for, yes. Huh? Foe. A grand servant? Are you freaking serious? I don't know shit about magecraft, and even I know a grand servant's a big freaking deal. A grand servant. The kind of unbelievably powerful heroic spirit that's usually only summoned by the true heroic spirit summoning ritual the Holy Grail War is based on. We've certainly encountered them before, like with Orion and first, the first Hassan, but even so... Yeah, we never summon one of our own. We never sum summon one on our own. <laughs> right? Super golden, right? I see. So your plan is to summon a Grand Servant here to Olympus, like how Orion was summoned to Al Atlantis. But then, does that mean the conditions to summon a Grand Servant are in place? Foe, foe, this is no easy task, foe. So cool, so golden, ah yeah! Yay! Foe! Foe is happy, foe! It looks like the Kentucky AI has fallen into a so cool loop, so I think I'd better take over. This summoning spell uses multiple summoning circles placed at various points around the city. One copy of Gold Romulus? Uh, Romulus? Who knows? We'll see. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What's more? Oh. It also uses a certain device to ensure that the target, a figure who would normally be unsummonable, is called forth into this world. Oh! It's a... Lancer Altria Altar. We call it a Grand Summoning Article. In Maid's terms, I suppose you would call it a Mystic Code, or perhaps a Catalyst. King Arthur's Lancer Spirit Origin. Foe! How many of you are there, foe? The King of the Storm, the avatar of the wild hunt that was seen during the Fourth Singularity, so there was yet another powerful heroic spirit here at one time. The Electric Professor, Lionhead, the Electric Professor, Lionhead Professor, and Blavatsky designed the article, and the collaborator, and the collaborator built it. As for the Great Summoning Circle, last we heard, its components are still being set up in each area. Unfortunately, the machine gods defeated us before we could see the operation through to the end, so we are oh, so we are trusting all of you to do so in our stead. Destroy the gods and save humanity. There are seven summoning circles that make up the great summoning circle, and the heroic spirits managed to set up four of them. Hey, Ryu, how's it going? How was your stream, buddy? Saki, MK7, there we go. So, how was your guys' stream, man? How was the Star Ocean? Hey, Kraton. How's it going? Which still leaves three to go. Pretty good. We just got Eren to, to a good place in Star Ocean 3. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, uh... We broke the economy again. Eh, sounds like business, you know. Oh, Ryu, did Eren tell you about... The crazy battle between my overlord deck and Hana's uh, uh, prison deck that we had, like, right, right after he left. 
Jesus Christ, it was not so. I mean, if I mean, if not though, then yeah, it, it's a uh, <laughs> yeah. It was like, whew, it was like, sheesh, man. I actually, uh, I actually did not expect expect to win that one though. But damn, I guess it helped though. That I guess it helped though because I didn't have, t uh, I never, I, I didn't have a lot of units for her to like, to bonk and stuff and want that. So that it, it was pretty, it was pretty hilarious. And then. uh... And then after that, though, I think the last battle we had, I had last battle I had of the night after everyone else left was a V premium fight between me and Kulog, since he he was also practicing since he's also on Rex's team for Springfest next weekend, and he actually used a Mega Cult, no, not a Mega Cult, a Nubatama deck against me. It was uh, Shingo's Magatsu Storm deck, which had a Magatsu Storm Reverse, which was just released in the last V Clan collection. Yeah, I, it did a lot of crazy shit I didn't know it could do. Ah, uh, oh, he's going to Chicago? Oh, that's pretty cool. You know what, though? At some point, though, how, uh, you should probably, uh, like... If, you, uh, if you're if you ever interested in trying to go into, like, a Spring Fest, though, you should see if, see if you want to... If you want to just experience it, though. Try going with Aaron sometime, though. I mean, if you're able to, though. That is. Because going, going to these tournaments are very... Are good, really good experiences, though, and, uh... And best, uh, mo most importantly, though, remember Vanguard tourna tournaments uh, hosted by Bushiroad are free. I'm planning to possibly. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, which still leaves three to go. We can no longer help slay the gods ourselves, unfortunately. But yeah, man, those are some crazy ass stuff last night, though. Yeah, and I already, I already, I already archived the the stream though. So if you want to go back and watch some of them, though, that was, go ahead, you can go for it. We can no longer help to slay the gods ourselves, unfortunately. We ended up failing to the mechanical gods before the Great Summoning Circle and Article were complete. But now there are heroes gathered here once again, and only three Summoning Circles left to go. That sounds to me like a mission worth risking one's life over. No. Hmm. What do you think? Ha! Huh, so he's all but admitting this could end up killing us, huh? I don't know who's who that is, but at least he's honest. I say, am I the only one who finds the idea of an AI actively assigning us a dangerous mission somewhat unsettling? Oh, for stop that, Mr. Tesla! You should know by now that not everyone's so eager to push themselves to their limits. I'm sorry if we didn't convey it well, but we're not trying to give orders, we're only providing information. Whether you act on it or uh, whether you act on it or not is up to you guys. While we're on the subject, here is where the remaining summoning circles need to be set up. This is Olympus Olympus's East District, and these three points of light are where the last summoning circles need to go. There these other four points of light are ones we already finished setting up. Oh, I think, uh, I think this, isn't this week gonna be the, the next, uh, the next part of the Olympus summoning better? Because, if so, I do plan on summoning for Romulus. As of now, neither the machine gods nor the people of Olympus have noticed the existing summoning circles. They better not, after all the trouble we went through to hide them, not to mention the collaborator. The collaborator. Alright, not a problem, man. But yeah. I think the I think this week is a, is gonna be the second uh this somewhere near the end of the week might be like the second summoning banner for the Olympus though, which I do plan on summoning for Romulus though. I see. So this is the Operation God Destroyer was forced to be suspended part way, though. Oh no. I see. So this Operation God Destroyer was forced to be suspended part way through. Then I suppose this is no time for half measures. We of Caldea will pick up where the Alliance left off. And I'm saying that in front of everyone here, heroic spirits included, even you, Cadus. I. Oh yeah, you're still in uh, Atlantis, right? Yeah, I guess really, really good. 
Huh? Huh? Kainos, would you continue to aid us? Please, we still need your help. Shut up. You think I don't know that? There's no way you three Chaldean servants alone could possibly take down the gods. Right, good. Now then. <laughs> but I gotta say, man. Freaking Gordolf, man. Gordolf was fucking carrying us, man. I'm not joking. We've decided our next course of action. We'll complete the great summoning circle, thereby preparing for our showdown with the king of the gods. That means we'll need to make a we'll need to make our way to Olympus's East District. I will disguise your command spells so the locals are none the wiser. So this will be a covert mission, huh? Good luck, Mia, Mash, and Yusaku. We'll do our best. Right. Didn't I just tell you to get some rest, technical advisor? Fine, fine, take a moment to say goodbye, but that's all. After this, I want you going straight back into sleep mode. No ifs, ands, or buts. Is that clear? <laughs> yes, teacher. And don't call me teacher. I'm never going back to the clock tower. Not even if they are going to beg me. Huh, man. Alrighty then. That was... <laughs> Pretty cra that was a pretty crazy event that just took place. Okay, so section 9 is where we're gonna leave off at. Well, we've gotten quite- a we've gotten quite, uh, quite deep into this now, and yeah. I'm actually, uh, I don't know when I'll continue this though, I'll see if I can continue tomorrow. If not, then I'll try continuing on Tuesday. Yeah, I'll try continuing. Okay, yeah, they were just coughing, sorry. Yeah, I'll try to continue on, uh, like, Tuesday, if not tomorrow. When I get home from work, though. But, we'll see what happens, though. In any case, though, this is where I'm gonna end this segment here. And I'll s see where I can go from there, because I'm really getting into this story right now. and I should probably stock up some more quartz for the next banner. In any case, though, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys again next time. Alright, take care.